right now, so you guys better be fucking ready. Right. It's, it is live right now. We're live? Yeah, right now. Oh my! We're doing it live. Hello world, this is the standard. You, uh, stop looking at the camera. Good gracious. Yeah, I was looking at the computer screen, not the camera. Yeah, really. See, we're yeah, live. Come on. Yeah. Right yeah. on. We're live. We're, we're here, here to drink alcohol, play D&D, and chew bubblegum. But we're all at bubblegum. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to drink alcohol. Hooray for alcohol. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I should put them all at time, so. I have them in my bag. This episode is sponsored by Jägermeister. No, not a sponsor. Not, not a no, sponsor. No, it is not. Totally not. The okay, I just like it. <laughs> That's wagon. Uh, another wagon. Oh, we lost that one. No, that one's gone. Tentacle <laughs> <laughs> monster. Uh, <laughs> oh, the potential rape. Oh, the yeah, that actually happened. happened. Yeah, that actually happened. We almost got raped by a tentacle monster. We had to. uh uh, luckily, I fought it off with my giant steel sword. Oh, yeah. That did happen. I did happen. I did fight it with my giant steel sword. You have a normal steel sword. Whatever. I, I imagine it's a good idea. There's a joke right there. There's a joke right there. There's, yeah. a, there's so many jokes. We, we, need a, yeah, we needed a visual aid, so this was the cart, and these were like giant steel swords. These were and they were like, ah! <laughs> and my visual aid is a, is a quarter. I drew a picture of you. You drew a picture of me? I imagine I don't look that gay. No, you've been playing yourself very flamboyantly the whole time. You actually I have. have. I'm not. No. I've been joking flamboyantly. You, well, been, you've been playing flamboyantly, so you look gay. You totally happen. No, can I see me again? Well, chicks. And you're not in this book. Chicks like me. Chicks like my dreams. It's so cool. You have to be friends with them. Metro dudes? Um, yeah. yeah. My character? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Alright. Uh, uh, is that, uh, it was a cold but I have no things in a hodgepodge. I just flipped them so. It is hodgepodge, yeah. I was queen sex, mint, watermelon mint. I just. Bear. It's Yeah. And so I'm not buying any more because I'm going to put them in the room. Hey, uh, I have Puka at my house for next time. Yeah, there you go. Well, Andy will be very happy to hear that. Because I told her she can keep it in the morning. Hey, there's a little bit of uh, a. Yeah, that's a good thing. What? There's a cappuccino thing. Oh, they still have that? No one smokes it, so it's just the gross stuff. Just left on <laughs> the stuff that gets smoked when there's like literally nothing else to smoke. It's like a <laughs> we could tear up in the or cappuccino. They taste about the same, so. I mean, do you like that mocha flavor less? No, no, I didn't like that at all. I don't I don't like it. I, was not, I didn't want to crush Andrew's dream or anything. Andrew enjoyed it though for some reason. He was like, yeah, Scott's is so good, Art. That Northern Lights flavor was delicious, though. I was enjoying that Queen of Sex. So yeah. And then they had the blue with that orange. The, oh, uh, the Baja Blue with orange. Mm -hmm. That wasn't Baja Blue with orange. That was Northern Lights. We changed it. And just didn't tell you. <laughs> you simple fucker. <laughs> I didn't do it. Andrew did it. Like, last minute. Uh, like, when, when, uh, when Evan was putting in the order, Andrew ran after him. He's like, no, 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 dude, I want this. And he changed yeah. it. So, All right, okay, so. Because <laughs> Tony has gone to the Northern Lights and he has licked them. Yeah, that actually happened. How do you lick the Northern Lights? I don't know. How does China not exist? Well, I mean, there was lots of acid involved, and yeah. Totally. Yeah. I, 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 I that, with that a validation of arguments, I just can't deny you. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you do? Like, yeah, it's like China doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, okay. I just. I have nothing yeah. to say against that. Also, Tony does acid, so... <laughs> well, I, Tony, do you want to get those coals for us? Yeah, we're, we're, we're here. here. 
Just you just load one on top of the other and you can carry them like that. Pretty easy. He's not a dude, he's got this. Dude, I was like him stuff. This is true. My god. Five years ago. Is this oh, so you have you had a party house back in the day. No, we just we, we yeah, went we to, to we went to Petra. Uh, bars a lot. Like we started at Petra, smoking like I think we had like double apple grape mint mix all the time. And I'm saying it was horrible. It was delicious. I, I agree. And we we did because it smoked a lot and it made us like super super lightheaded. Like after two cups. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the only reason. Well, Shut up, Thomas. You're fucking sixteen. You no, should, it will. Be you shouldn't know about this. You shouldn't. We do not condone child smoking. Children do not smoke. smoke. I do. No, I condone <laughs> all sorts of bad stuff. stuff. Thomas, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> bored. I, I only have like. Twelve pairs of those songs lying all over the place. I keep stealing them from Lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Umar, no, he's not. That's weird because you know, when I'm at Lava, they will never let me have a frickin' pair. I work with them. Alright. Uh, what do you do? Right. Stack them. Right. So, uh, put them on the, on the outer rim of the, the yeah. bowl. Let's start our. It should, it should only keep it, you know, halfway heated. Let's start our maple leaf. Okay, so last time. Oh, right. I was <laughs> You guys were traveling north, and uh, you had just come across this six hut village of gnomes. Yeah, and we kind of passed that. And and you you sort of walked past it. Oh, no, no, we rested there for the night. You're yeah. out of you're out of the big ass bog, and now you're closer up to the river, the the lake here. Wait, wait, wait. Can we start where we're resting? Okay. Last time did we say that we woke up and left? No, we we rested and said it's a stopping point. Okay, here's what we're gonna do: sitting around a campfire. There's little fucking gross poop huts around, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna look over to the dwarves that are probably cold as shit, and they're just like rubbing their hands around this piddly little fire so we can have a lot of time. And I'm looking to look over to them, and I'm gonna be like, "So, what are your names?" Which to the dwarves? To the two dwarves. Okay, so the first dwarf um, is named. Barin, and uh, his the other person B A R I N Barin Barin Barin, and for and the and the gentleman you rescued, you picked up through over your shoulder and dragged into the yeah. park. His name is Darin. Barin and Darin are they brothers? Barin and Darin are brothers. They are soldiers of fortune. They're businessmen, always looking for the next big score, the next big block. Correct, yeah. yeah. So, uh, just for anyone watching, and just for this dude's sake, see what the fuck's going on. Um, basically, we have just retrieved this ruby golem spear, so it's a giant fucking ruby. He's drinking my Jaeger. <laughs> um, and um, we met up with these four dwarves who... Slaughtered some dude for swindling them. Well, here's what happened. Yeah. I had this armor, right, that I got earlier in our campaign, and I've been looking for a place to sell it. So I, I, we're in this gnome city, and I go into this bar, and I see these dwarves around the table, right? And I'm like, hey, I'm an armor merchant. Do you guys want this? And they're like, fuck yeah, we do. Come trade with us. And... <laughs> Yeah. There's this teleporter pad thing, which is a piece of like advanced technology, and they, uh, we have an expert with us, mm. Just and the expert tells us that there's, um, okay, come back. it's broken, that their teleporter pad's broken, right, so it's not worth much, so we, they pay us a bunch of money for the armor, take the pad, they, we meet up with them later, and they tell us that they killed the guy that screwed him over. They had his head in, in their hand. Yeah. They, were holding, like, they didn't just tell us. No, they proved to us that they slaughtered these guys. Yeah, they were holding that guy's head in their hands. And then they tell us that they want uh, us to accompany them to this tower that they know about. And the tower is part of this uh, ongoing quest that we're doing to find these ancient relics based around these golems that give... Uh, Zalu, or Kyle as I call him, <laughs> uh, his magical powers that are associated with this magical arm that's made out of rocks that he has. And meanwhile, I 
and going up to these towers to find lost bits of technology to build this giant mechanical is it, suit of is armor. It giant though? Like, I don't know. It's pretty big. It, it, imagine, he showed Iron, us, imagine Iron Man. Okay, well, so it's not giant. The, the statue we saw was giant because Mon the freak. Was it larger than my thing? The the mech I oh, saw that Mon had built was just a representation. It was Mon's idea of how it might work because no one's actually seen it. He just heard of what That's it true. could do. Okay. So his mech was huge because he didn't have. He's not a member of tech. He's not from tech, so he has no idea how tech did this stuff. So, there you go. And so, he's looking for magical artifacts. I'm looking for pieces of uh, mechanical armor. And these dwarves... Also, we almost got raped by a tentacle monster. Oh, which it was two of the dwarves. It was pretty badass, right? So, we're going through the Yeah, that was on yeah. Street, so. watch the Watch the other episode, and you'll see us went through this bog area. And we were getting picked off by this giant tentacle monster, and... You were completely useless in the fight. You got knocked out like instantly. It happened. <laughs> and I, I saved someone's life first. Yeah, so. you did. You did save someone's life, but I went boss mode. Oh yeah, that was good. That was, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so what your what your mage somehow fucking no clue how it happened. It was good shit. So you guys are now coming up on the glass tower, the tower of the diamond doll. Okay. So, uh, oh, oh, we can, can we see it in the distance? All you see, you know where it's at because okay. you've been told where it was at by yeah. by uh, Darin. Um, but he's never been there, and Barin's never been there, and the two guys that accompanied the the people before, um, the the guy that carried the hammers mm -hmm. and the guy that carried the um, the axes, they're both dead. Yeah. And the and the dwarves lost their chunk of ship that they climbed. Right. Which, to be honest, seems kind of goofy. Yeah, it's so bad for them. And I, me and Tony have pretty much already decided that we're probably going to be trading these dudes if they try to take all the treasure. The Army. We'll yeah. see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. happens. So, um, Dar right. Darin and Barin are brothers. Uh, Darin's the, the brains of the operation. He's the ones that makes all the decisions. Oh, it's an intelligent dwarf. Wow. That's, but he, that's a new one. He, um, he's uh, the younger brother. So Barin's always been the kind of hesitant... Um, a little more cautious one, which is why he was the one that was driving the cart away when mm -hmm. Darin fell. Because he's not the brave one. Darin's the brave one. The one okay. that takes the risks and makes okay. the decisions. One thing about that, Tony. Um, the Hobbit just came out on Blue Do you want to watch it? I could have bought it today. I'm thinking about buying it. Well, so, I'm saving money. my money right now. I'm probably going to buy it. Buy it's only like 20 bucks. bucks. So, I might as well buy it. Bioshock, you know. Buy a shock. Infinite. Yeah, Bioshock. Is it infinite or infinite? Infinite. It's just they're in It's a good looking game, game, yeah. It looks good. I just don't know if it's going to be that great. Now I'll we'll let you know. It took them like two if years. It's great. It took them two years. years to make like Who knows? Oh, yeah. They spent years and years developing yeah. it. So. Maybe, the, maybe, we can, maybe we can put up some content sometime. But that's neither here nor there. We're doing this now. I just wanted to remind you, Hobbit, we're going to make it out of that. Oh, yeah. We're going to get really drunk and watch The Hobbit. So. Count me in! Yeah! I'm Mom good. says let's go! <laughs> Fuck off, Mom! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, so we pack up camp, load the cart back up, and we're going to keep riding to the glass tower. All right, so you can see, like, a glint in the distance. It, it seems like... Like a shiny something. Okay, so it's a transparent. It's called the glass tower. Okay. Okay. That could be figurative. Uh, it could be figurative. In this case, it's not. You're because you're gonna look and you're gonna try and look at it, but you don't see anything. Huh. It's a, it's not like a physical presence. All it is is like a bending of light waves. It just looks like a glint, like a picture. <laughs> And if you look sort of out of the corner of your eye, you can sort of make out that it's a uh, relatively short, wide at the base, skinny at the top. Okay, I'm going to ask Mon if he has an extra bag. Mon has his trunk! You only took the trunk, remember? Hmm. Does anybody have a bag? I have a bag of... Holding! Holding! No, I need a regular bag. Um, Aww! Um... <laughs> uh, the tarp. I'm I'm gonna fashion I'm gonna try to fashion a part of the tarp into a bag that I can hold things in. What for? 
I'm going to fill it up with sand, and then as we're going through this invisible tower, I'm going to throw sand on the stuff so I can see what I'm stepping on. Is it invisible? It's just, it's flat. It's very, by the looks of it, I'm looking right through it. It's kind of hard to tell what's what, and if there was a booby trap, you, it'd be kind of hard to see. When you, when you get closer, you'll figure it out. But, okay. uh, um, let's worry about that when we get Right there. now, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you don't need sand. Okay. But only you. So, oh, it was your fucking goggles. Damn it. <coughs> so, um, nice. You, you guys are gonna come up. I don't have one sister anymore. <laughs> and, and you guys are gonna see that there is actually a glass structure in front of you. The the light bends off it, but you it wouldn't. Now that you're close enough, you can see that it's got a big sheet of glass. It's 30 feet wide, it's perfectly okay. square. Okay. So it's 30 feet, 30 feet. Mm -hmm. In the very middle, you can tell that there's posts, but you're not quite sure how many because they're all made of glass. So they stretch up about 30 feet in the air, right? Okay. To another square platform, 10 feet wide. Is it, um, is it a tier? Yeah. I got a picture. So you have a picture? Okay, I was going to draw it out. It's a very small picture, but you can see there's a big sheet of glass at the bottom, okay. and then a 10 foot platform in the middle, and then a 5 foot platform on top so of it. So it is here. Posts. Okay. And that's the ground there? This is a big sheet of glass. Is that the ground, or is that the tower? This this is the dirt. This is where you guys are walking up. So that, that's the end. There's another thing you're going to there's an underneath. Okay, sorry for cheating this now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't mix character knowledge with player knowledge. Oh, it's I'm it's not going cool. to. You'll, you'll learn very quickly what it is. Because as you walk up, you can see through the glass okay. that it's actually water under there. It's wet. Uh, so it's, it's pregnant. Cold. Is it murky or can I see down to the bottom of my little goggles? Okay, hold on. Let me draw it out. No, my, my lens. Hold on, I, I, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna be close enough yet. Eventually, your character looks slightly different. No, it's a badass looking helmet. It's a badass. But it doesn't match the other armor. Matches. It doesn't armor. match his chest plate, but it matches his crossbows. Yeah. So you got this big square plate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
But, oh yeah. I was going to do alcohol anyway. But first, I'm going to need water. So I have a glass filled with water. Okay. Nice, crispy, mm, tastes delicious. Why don't you hold on to that cup for a while? Okay, no problem. Okay, um, I'm going to pour just a tiny bit of the surface of gas. You're nowhere near it yet. Oh, we're not. Oh. You, you guys are up on this hill up here. Well, I'm. Well, 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 let's, let's, are you let's, walking down to let's it? Let's venture yes. down. All right. Yeah, we're gonna leave. As, as you get close, your goggles start to those. You remember those black lines around the outside edges? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, they're starting to shift and move. And as you get even closer, you're going to see that there's this amalgus shape that goes up and then down again. So it goes up, moves across your screen, and then down again. So when I look, when you turn your head, it disappears. Only when you're looking directly at the edge of the, the sheet of ice do you see this shape. Mm-hmm. It's made of black lines. It's like, a, it's like this hollow silhouette. Interesting. Okay. I'm not sure what to make. Are you gonna alert us of this? Um, whoa, whoa, guys! My glasses are doing something funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm not real sure what to make of it. Um, no, I'm not gonna alert anybody. I'm going to uh, try to figure this thing out and then alert people. All right. So I need penny. Money, money, money. Money, money. Dwarves and you need a quarter. A qu- I need a quarter and a dime for Mon and uh, Flat. Why don't we just keep those out? I had them all set out, but I wasn't thinking we were playing tonight, so um, I uh, put it all away. Are you going to need. Uh, I was just texting people all day for a hangout, and then I finally got home with my little good friend here. You should get two minutes of one for the hour. Can I miss her? Right now, they're not technically in your party, they're just with you. There you are. Once you get inside, if they get inside, they're, um, uh, I'll switch them out for nickel. Okay. Um, For anyone who didn't hear that, I'm going to send these dwarves to their deaths. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, uh, now I'm gonna take the cup and I'm gonna do You guys are all you guys work. are all up on the cart. Yeah. I'm gonna step mm-hmm. down from the cart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We we need to do this right, I right, because you're gonna get yourself fucking killed and I really don't want to be fucking killed. Well, because then I have to start a whole new fucking I'm quest not for you. I'm step on the ice. It's sick. You don't have to step on the ice. Get on the ice. Fucking no, kill. No, they're all there. Go, go knock on okay, the door. Okay, mister, I'm going to put my foot in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's sucking me in. Help. Go, go. Help. Go knock on the door. All right, so. Let's see if there's somebody in there. You guys pull up the cart to where? To the, towards the, not oh, the edge right. of the, like, little, like, about 30 feet away. Over here somewhere? Back. Yeah, about 30 feet away. So you're all get off. And, and instantly die. And then you guys, I'm going to put you guys in the back right now. Mon in front next to Luther. Luther a little bit ahead. And then both the dwarves in front. Darren is, Darren is the very front one. The, the brave one. Darren's the brave one. All right. Are you guys just gonna walk so over there? I have to like make out with these little greetings. Are do you need to do an illustration for me? Okay, while well, you do that, my intention, I'm going to approach the surface of the ice very cautiously, and if I notice anything out of the ordinary, I'm gonna stop. All right. This is what the the edge of the, the stuff's gonna look like. The closest edge to you is gonna be, of course, closer to you. Yeah. And as you get close, you see. A, a black outline. It's very dark. It's very black. It's shaped like a triangle, and it runs across the edge. It's very fast. The whole thing. The whole thirty feet. You see this black line. It it sort of like comes out of nowhere, whips across the the edge of the gla- the edge of the ice, and then just disappears again. And it does it again. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! I know exactly what that is. 
or what's going on, and I can't say anything because <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hey, my helmet's doing something funny. Well, what what does it do with flag? Well, it says there's something going on on the edge of the eye. What's it look like? Draw it to me in the dirt. Oh, you drew a picture in the dirt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, well, it's like this, and there's these little triangles. <laughs> Why are you so, talking all hickey, Schlag? When did not why become southern? Because I don't understand this technology that it is. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and assume is these lines. This is your helmet picking up very thin, very, very thin, uh, either ice or glass. And it's pretty much like razor blades. And if you don't time it right going across, they Fucking own your ass. Mm. I'm glad you figured that out. It's, yeah, that's exactly what it is. They're very, very, very thin sheets of glass. Well, you you don't get an, an end of eighteen without going <laughs> that shit, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh god, yeah, they're very, very, very thin sheets of glass with razor sharp edges, and if it, and they're very fast, they move along, and if you get stuck. And it, it, it will slice you in half. But it also has like a scoop at the back that takes all of whatever's left and just plops it at, in a hole at the end. It's a very small hole, but you can see it now. Okay. You notice it out of the corner. Oh, it's going over to that hole. So, are you gonna, what are you guys going to do okay. now? But I'm, I need you to look over to this other side and see if the same... Like another side and see if the same amount of Okay. Dar Darian's just gonna lie. Uh... Darian, wait! <laughs> let, let us examine this before you make any foolish decisions. Uh, he's got it, he's brave, he knows what he's doing. You're gonna get cut in half. Cut in half, you say, huh? Yeah, I recommend not doing that. Or, or, you, could go or you could go for it, I mean. Well, Tell you what, just hold your hand out over the eyes. This is the test. Now, are there any branches around sticks right now? Nope. Um, <coughs> see this? This is a giant lake. You guys are just outside the area of the lake, but this whole area is a swampy bog, like a marsh. It's okay. wet. I'm so, going to take one of my... Uh, take a clump of mud and throw it out over the eyes? Well, no, I'm going to give you one of my uh, full dead rabbits. Why don't we just use the dirt? Yeah, but it'll be cool if it's a rabbit. Well, you can manipulate the rabbits and get them to do cool shit. That's right. Well, two left, so... I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Well, I'll just take this phone right here. Okay. I don't know, I think his fingers are all muddy. I'm just going to throw it under the ice. You throw it under the ice. Yeah. Right? It, so how... Stay in a clump, so it doesn't splatter. Anymore. You're back here, right? Uh-huh. And you, you throw it directly in front of you. So uh-huh. there's a clump of mud right there. Uh-huh. There you go. What you're going to see is... A big black bar just generates in front of your vision on your goggles, uh-huh. out black outline, same as you saw with the, the razor blades, uh-huh. and it's just going to come racing at you, and the mud on the floor is going to be gone. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is also magically protected, so if anything were to approach the ice, it will, or gets over the ice, it will instantly... You think it's hard, remember these are built by tech. That's they, have, they don't use magic. So there's sensors there. It must be some sort of, like this glass, this ice, is probably some sort of... Remember it's it's got got a water on top? Oh, it's got water on top. Mm -hmm. Because because the the air up above is room temperature. It's it's normal temperature. The the ice, the water below is freezing. And so you can tell from the way the mechanics work that that there's there's a small, thin pool of water sitting on top of this ice. So if you touch the water, it's like, okay. It's so it's a pulse. Yeah. yeah. That means that the, the little razor blades it would make waves. They would cut through the water as they were you'd be able to see them. No, they're just outside the edge. They're at the very edge of the ice. Oh. Okay. okay. So, but did the blade come up and cut it in the second? I don't know. Let's throw more hunks of mud. I'm gonna start this. Well, did the did the mud cut? When, did it cut the mud as soon as it hit the ground? When you're gonna see, you're gonna throw it. The mud's gonna hit here, and then within seconds, not not a okay. very long time at all. 
Okay, so we break the surface of the water, a sensor trigger is that's going to... And then a, 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 a bar comes out from a very short platform, right? And it's maybe, it's maybe two and a half, three feet high, but it throws itself out and pushes it back into the razor blades. And then the razor blades just scoop it up and put it in the hole. Okay, so the, the goal here to enter the inner sanctum, we cannot break the surface of that water, or else we, or we had a magic carpet. If only <laughs> we had, I don't know, a hundred feet of rope. We do have we that. But how could we possibly attach this rope <laughs> to the tower? Hey, Mom, do you sound like Gauntlet? This whole building's made of glass. If I try and shoot it at it, it might just break the whole thing down. Well, fans fucking best it. All right, I'm gonna start throwing. Glob, like glob after glob of mud, like one here, one there, one over here, one. I'm just gonna start throwing mud everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna take notes in between the times of whenever the mud lands and between the time it takes to get pushed into the place. Okay, so when the mud lands here, it's exactly what would take you one turn. Right into the blades, whoosh, gone. Yeah. Within one turn. It's nearly instant. Yeah. We need to see how sharp these blades are because maybe we can break them. Maybe. I, I doubt that. I'm going to try to kick one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, when you throw the mud here, there's a bar that comes out from this side within a, within a single turn. Whoosh, All right, I'm gonna throw a and then glob. the blades run across, put it in the bucket. I'm going to throw a glob of mud right here. You throw a glob of mud right here. This arm shoots out, and this arm shoots out, but nothing grabs it there. You hear that, cop? The mud, it's still there. Okay. Um, there Where's, are... No, we're going to look for a door now. Okay. Yeah, well, I want you to throw another bit of mud here and here. Okay. And this is the same result? When you hit here, nothing happens. When you hit here, this arm shoots out. And then swings around one time, and then swings back again. Okay, I need one here. Okay, so all these are gone. Right. Basically, there's a, there's a safe zone that we can when you walk shoot, into. When you shoot this one out, it sits there for one turn, and then when by the time this one hits, this will swing. One turn and then come back. Okay, but all these blobs are still there. Nope, these blobs are gone. Oh, they all got swept away still? Well, all okay. right. So, this one are you saying if we pass, if we go here, then it sweeps everything away? No, if we go inside this area, it sweeps away. After two turns. After two turns. Okay, but it takes a second. All right, so I'm Right start. here's a safe spot. If you try and go directly in front of any one of these walls, Within one turn, you're dead. Yeah. And we go in the corners in two turns. In two turns. If you sit right here in the sweet spot, they cannot touch you. Yeah. However, the razor blades do come right fucking past your face. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, so that's dangerous. All right. You, you have maybe a foot of square space to stand in. Okay, so I'm going to start circling the place. I'm going to look for a doorway. See a ladder. The ladder is like it gets it gets it's like a three step ladder to get you on top of the shooty platforms. Hey guys, it's about a ladder. Okay, and how tall are those little shooty things? Could I just jump over them? I want to see you try. They're probably the one. Well, I've seen them shoot out. They're not so tall. They're not tall. No, they're only about this high, maybe three feet off the ground. Okay. But they're straight, flat, packed. I imagine they're, they're fairly fast too. So. They're really fucking fast. It, it's moving a good 10, 12 feet in seconds, back and forth. Okay. Okay, um, wondering. I mean, it's a matter of timing. It's not like I have to be able to, you know. Move faster than them, I just have to know when they're going to come out. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything I know or anything I can do. I like the book you did. Oh. 
Thomas, can you hand me my juice? Oh, yeah. Thank you. What? The friend zone? What the friend zone? Um, friend zone? And, and, what, we know, know, and what we do know about the Diamond Golems, this isn't going to be something that we can just go through, no problem. The Diamond Golem is impossible to trick. So we can't trick the system. This well, this wasn't to... built by the Diamond Golem. This is built by Tech. I know, but I'm assuming that the, the Tech had like they took, you know, inspiration from the Golems. It is partly inspired by the Golems, but it's not like it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily have an exact. It is foolable. Mm -hmm. It's not foolable. All you have to know is the pattern. Yeah, that's what I was trying to learn. Yeah, and, and I know the pattern. You've pretty much learned it. You just gotta know where to get in and where to get out. Okay, so there's the ladder. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a clump and I'm gonna throw it here. Here? Mm -hmm. This arm's gonna shoot out. The ladder is still on the wall. It moves out of the way just in time. So the ladder moves. The ladder is like if the, the ladder's attached right at the corner, and so when this panel shoots out, the ladder goes pop. And it's, it holds itself. Okay. Um, so wait, are you saying that ladder's going to stay turned? Or and that ladder's going to stay in that corner. It's not going to come out to you. Okay, okay. Here's what That'd be interesting. We're going to throw bumps at the same time. I'm going to throw one here, you throw one right here. What's that going to do? Let's, I, I just want to yeah, check something. Understand timing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm like, why don't I just take a clump in each hand? Oh, yeah, just throw it in two different spots, have like throw it in the same time. They both land at the same time, both arms, both panels shoot at the same time. Okay. Within one turn, they're out and back in again. Okay, I'm just making sure, like, maybe only one two at a time. That's what I'll show. Um, okay, and it's still about the five to ten seconds. It's fucking fast. Faster than Mond. Mond's fucking fast. Oh, that's. We didn't think of that. Mond's very fast. Yeah. Mom, do you know anything about this sort of mechanism? No, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it just seems like a standard mechanical operation. I'd turn it off if I were already inside, but I can't because, well, I'm not inside. What Wait. if I can throw you in there? It's, it's 30 feet. I mean, it's 15 feet from this point to this point. Who's there's a big guy? Mm. Oh, I bring those rabbits that you have. You want to do those? You gotta be careful, because the whole place is in glass. Yeah, I know. Let me just break everything and make nothing. I wonder if we could set me. We could dry out. Water somewhere. It's like it it makes it to where there's no water. Because if it's being triggered by the water, being um, broken, okay. the surface of the water being broken. Try it. I don't know how to do that though. I'm yep. thinking my right. arm, but I don't want to risk my arm. Well, put it in the safe spot. And if, well, no, because you have to stick it out over there. Right yeah. Place. <laughs> don't want to lose my arm. Yeah. That's so harsh. I'm gonna adjust the board. Um. <coughs> I believe you. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to take the room cup. I'm going to do water. Okay. And I'm going to splash the water onto the surface. <coughs> How close are you? Um, I'm about five feet away. Mon's going to stay over here close to the cart. And then the two dwarves. Baron's going to be over here with you for a little bit closer than Mon, but farther away. He's getting really close. And he's not kind of sure he can leave you guys. He's like, it's a him. It just looks like a big old sheet of ice walking across it. No big deal. Can you see the arm shooting yeah. down? He can't see it. It's made of glass. It's it's the cleanest, smoothest, most pure glass yeah. anyone has to ever the seen. To, to yeah. break everything, his, the whole place. To break his suspicions, I'm going to take out what's left of my porch stab. I'm just going to put it in the path of where I know it is. Okay. And then just get 
So and you're, you're, you're getting, you know that the blade is within, uh, right at the edge of the ice. Mm -hmm. So as you get closer and closer, you're going to hesitate a little more and a little more and a little more. I need you to roll a surprise roll. That would be intelligence. Would be, or would that be like uh, Well, yeah, we'll go with constitution. We haven't used that for anything. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right, right under. So, so you're going to feel it just as it takes, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to let go. And the staff is going to be chopped so neatly in two, and then it's just sort of going to fling itself over the edge. And then the the piece that was there just sort of rips out to the edge and then fall, and then disappears into nothing. You believe me now. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> uh, good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try that anymore. Yeah, you should have. Uh, Sick of me, you want to watch your rip to pieces. Yeah, Admittedly, when, when you guys were like, we're going to run up and see what's going on. I was going to have him run ahead of you, having it chopped in half. No, I knew there was going to be something. Would have been a bloody, like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. the second you mentioned, you mentioned, like, there were la there were things flying across his screen on the deal. I was like, okay. I'm not gonna purchase that. <laughs> sure. Now that I learned my lesson for the last summer. So. <laughs> Let's go up and put our foot in it. Yeah! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna like probably push some dirt around my foot. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, okay. This is a thinker, dude. Okay. Well. If I run, if I just run, and it's a straight shot, they're going to have to shoot out <clears throat> and then swing over. That's going to give me long enough. That should take two turns. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Not really. I'm not. I'm not really <laughs> water, though. Okay, well, anyways. So it's going to take two turns. Darren volunteers. I'll do it. Darren, I... Uh, I'll do it. I, I want to get up there. I, I want to know. You say it's this corner, right? Uh -huh. If I stand here, wait one turn, and then go, I should be able to make it, right? That's what you said, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell them, okay, well, before you do that, we have to time whenever these blades end for you to step over that line. Otherwise, you're probably going to get destroyed. Well, he can see him. Uh -huh. he, he can see him. Well, Darren wants to jump in there, so you need to tell him, go now, and then you can jump, and then he has... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it to chance. You're just going to let him try. Yeah, there's not a 100% chance that it's going to fly by and slice him. You might go in the right time. All right, can, I, can my character pull out his his um, iPhone and... Take a video. Take a video. video. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> Alright, so Darren's just going to be up to the luck. You're not even going to tell him. Now's the time. Not even the... <laughs> yeah, when he said four pieces on the other side, it's fucking... No, it's mad. You think I should, Cal? I think you should, just because we... This is going to increase our odds, bet our odds of getting I in there. I don't want these guys to make it to the court. We can dip these dudes over there. Don't worry about it. But what we're going to do now... We just need to get, let these dudes live so we can figure out this fucking trap. Lauren's all like, wait, brother, are you sure you wish to do this? No, I got no, it, bro. No, 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 I got no, it. You can do it. I believe in him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and tell him when we go. Oh, you are? Okay, yeah. so you're going you're gonna to guarantee his chances of making it past the first one. Ready, set, go now. All right, he sets up yeah, this one, and then he waits one turn. And until and this one, sh he, he and then how he can see from behind it that it's actually got this big ass razor sharp bar that sits along the inside. If you just tried jumping over the platform, it would cut you in half. Wow. This bar is like these knives. It's razor sharp, and if it touches you, it cuts you in half because it's that fast. You're gonna put razors here. <laughs> anyway, so you can't you can't just like jump over and hop onto one of these things. It doesn't work. If you try that, you're gonna die. Okay. 
Oh, he was, he was like jumping one when it came to swing around. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, he's going to walk this way, and it's going to swing around. He's only going to get out of half a step in there. Maybe three, four steps. I'm going to tell him to try to jump. It's quite a distance. It's a jump! Jump! It's going to roll a jump. Why jump? There's nothing happening. Film. He's all like, I slipped on the ice! <laughs> <laughs> the the swing arm pushes him around to here, the second arm pushes him out to the edge. Is this one's rag. Oh, he's fucking gone. Wow. I'm just gonna look at this. Was he dead face. the minute it swung out and gone? Yeah. It sliced him right too. Cut him in two. I I'm just gonna like I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go up and cover <laughs> cover up his brother's eyes. <laughs> Barring this fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. Sorry for the <laughs> <laughs> what a dick! You told me to jump. Why did you tell me to jump? <coughs> well, I sort of—I didn't really want to explain too much. I didn't really want him to survive, but I wasn't going to have him wait till that arm shot out. I was just going to tell him to just run for it. Do you want to try that? No, but I want to make him do it. <laughs> That's the smart one, though. He's not going to be that dumb. He's a fucking Freddy cat. <coughs> you know how Luther just sort of sits in the corner and does what you tell him to do? Mm -hmm. Well, this guy will actively oppose what you tell him to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay. man, whatever you do, don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Still has his own best interest. He's okay. not dumb. Can you get one of your rabbits? Just to <laughs> wait till that thing is starting to slide back in, right? Mm -hmm. Wait till it's starting to retract, and then sit your rabbit and just have them just rush across there. I feel like a dick. So you can use your rabbits to uh, that human being. Dwarf. The dwarf mm -hmm. being. Yeah, I was wondering like why we're sitting the dwarf this entire time. He volunteered. Yeah. He's brave. He wanted to do it. Yeah, and he died. Yeah. He died. Okay, so send me around. So you want to with that magic carpet now? Yeah, it's kind of a long ways away. Okay, there. Yeah. Fucking YOLO. YOLO? I'm yellow. No, you did not. No. Oh, I totally am. Gonna okay. send me dwarf. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, give one of your rabbits. Okay. Wait till this blade, I'm gonna throw a, a piece of mud out in front of that arm. Mom says, wait, wait, I, I have a new idea, hold on! Okay. Okay. You know how it comes out and it swings, right? Yeah. And then these <coughs> hit when you step on them, right? Yeah. So if it took you two turns to walk this distance, it might only take you one more turn to walk this distance. And if this is the same distance as this distance, then if you started here, you have to start in the corner and run diagonally at it. So if you start over here, and run in this direction, this one will be here. And all we gotta do is keep ahead of each one of these. If you try and run straight in, it'll push you. But if you just keep out of the way of the next one, you can make it on. Yellow, I'm gonna try it. Well, Mom said it. Mom's very smart. Yeah, Mom's very smart, and the creature's game just getting tired of us trying to figure this out. So that's why he's doing this. Uh, I'm gonna fuck it, Yellow. You wanna help me time this? No. Please? <laughs> <laughs> good luck, guys. Good luck, man. Feels good. Tony's yeah. standing in the razor blades right now. He, his, oh, eye, his eyes, he's looking down, they're going. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you wanna help me out, please? Because I'm going YOLO in there. No, I'm saying send me a rabbit. I'll just try the rabbit. Fine, I'll try a rabbit and I'll try that path. Real good. good. You know how long it takes him to cast that fucking thing? Hey, better, better to grab it than him. If it works, then you can all try it. Yeah, I see that you stuff want, a lot. You Fine, you'll have it. it. You want to sit patiently while I do? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so he has the rabbit. There'll be the rabbit. There'll be the rabbit. This is the rabbit. We a rabbit. We a rabbit. It's not white rabbit. It's a white rabbit. Yeah, white rabbit. So is it? It's in the same spot. And you, <coughs> you 
So you drop it gently into the safe spot right as the blades pass by. Mm -hmm. And then this crank arm goes around one time. You're not telling it to do anything. Mm -hmm. And this arm crank arm swings and then swings yeah. back. As it starts to retract, I tell it to fucking go. And so it goes <laughs> as fast as it fucking can. And it goes shut on, shut on, shut on. And each of these get a little bit closer to it, but it makes it to the ladder. You can't tell it to get up a ladder. I tell it, jump really high! <laughs> 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 Is there now red just all over the place? No, there is one red again. These glass things mm -hmm. that, that haul it away, push them out, and and cut it and into pieces, slice and dice, they all drop back into the water. So the instant they come out again, they're all clean. That's too bad. So it's like, even if they got dirty, and you're like, if we get them dirty, we can see them. Yeah. Nope. Go well, straight back into the water and you see some pretty intense flashes of fucking red flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah. What you're seeing is like, explosion of bunny. Bunny just gone. Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> who wants to go first? <laughs> I think I'm pretty quick. Wait, no, you need to tell everyone how they time it, though. I'll tell them on the ladder. Well, you need the ladder. Wait, Mom's the fastest! Mom, go! Okay. Alright. Wait, wait, Mom, get in there and shut it down. Oh, yeah! So, Mom goes. Ready? Set! Now, go, go! go. And he runs up the ladder, so he's just on top. Ooh, all the way along. Oh, oh no! What? Monster is something you guys need to know about. What? You remember that box? That short little thing? Uh huh. That the dwarves gave us? Yeah. Why are you remember? I'm gonna need it. Teleport bar and solder. Oh, Bar is so fucking out of it. He's not even going with it. He needs the teleport plate. Yeah. The trans transfer plate. Whatever. Not teleport plate. Transfer plate. It's important. Well, I don't right, we see. Alright, Luther, you go next. Take the transfer plate. Go, go, go. I'm not gonna have him try to run it as fast as with this big metal He's the strongest though. Box. Oh wait, no, you're you though. Yeah. It's not it's not like a huge mechanical box. I mean it's big, it's probably two and a half, three feet across. It, it, but it's it's made of like wood and stuff. It's not it's not extremely heavy. I mean it's relatively heavy. But Luther carries around that big ass armor all the time. He's a huge dude. He's fucking big, but he's kinda slow, so he might not make it. Luther, you stay here. I'll go next. Glad you come after the thing. Uh, or the door can go next, I don't care. The door's not gonna be coming. The door's not gonna be coming? No, he's not going. He's fucking crying his eyes out. No treasure for you then, dwarf. No, I'm gonna tell he, the dwarf. Careless? He just lost both of the guys he hired a week ago and his brother. Yeah, he's only just fortune shit. He, <laughs> he, he was only in this because his brother told him to. Yeah, well. I actually feel very sorry for him right now. I you practically pushed the dude in the blade! Oh, yeah, that was totally her fault. I don't. That's all I feel bad. Um, anyway. Tell you what, if you can look after our cart and make sure nothing bad happens to it, I'll compensate you. If I find some some gold. He could, care, he could care less right now. He's just fucking crying his eyes. And so you stay here with the cart. I'm going to go next. And uh, I'm going to be all like. <laughs> do you have the box or are you going to make him carry He's the box? He's going to carry the box and he can carry the box. Go for it. Okay, all right. Tell me, tell me when. Tell me when. Hey, now, just kidding, go, go. We're not, we're, oh. You need to roll a speed check and a dex check. Make sure you don't, speed check? You don't, need to just, you don't slip on the ice and that you, you make it fast enough. So strength for speed. Okay, you, you pass. Okay. Oh, oh, God damn what is it? What is it? I failed. Oh, what is it? What did you roll? What's your ice? strength? Um, 12. But he rolled a 1 for his strength, which is a critical fail, but okay. at the same time, it's underneath his Is he going to slip, and then I can just unload on the little glass thing and hope it breaks? And shoot it a bunch of times? It's going to patch me and see it. You, you'd never be able to do that. Okay, um... Shit, I'm dead. Um... 
No, what are your spells? What are your spells? I really didn't want to have to kill you this early, because now I have to generate a whole new fucking quest line. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my quick teleport <coughs> as I fall. Yes. So you're going to feel yourself falling. Yeah. Oh, shit. And I quick teleport. Pop away. Yeah, right outside the, the area. Okay. I'm it? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna talk. Play with that for sure! <laughs> All right. I walk up, I like brush myself off, but like, TK, never happened. <laughs> you, all right, let's you try this again! You, you cannot do that again, remember. Yeah. It's, That's yeah. a one a day, anyway. Yeah, you cannot do that again. Yep. Alright, now that you've had one turn to uh, practice. Yeah, totally. Alright, here we go. Roll your strength check in here next here. Right on my strength. Okay. Fucking not again! Ah! Oh, that's a three. <laughs> <laughs> dead on me. You're not dead. Wait, wait. I block it with 32. 32 is indestructible. The platform's what's gonna get you and send you into the blades. Yeah. Okay, alright, here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna be slid out into the path of the blade, so I'm gonna grab him by his back of his whatever, his cloak thing, and I'm gonna yank yes. him into the dirt. Okay. If, if you fail, it's gonna chop your arms off. Or and, he'll die. And he's going to die. Not only will he die, it will chop your arms off. There's only one way. Wait, so is it dex? Or is it It'd be a dex and a strength. Wait, no, wait, shut up. It's just a dex. It's just okay. a dex check. Because you got... There. Oh, fuck it. He's like... <laughs> like grab his Are you going to try again? Yeah. <laughs> Be prepared this time. Okay, I'm okay. ready to grab you if you get in test. I'll, I'll give you a bonus to your dex check for the next time since you were prepared. Pass. One under my stream. Pass. Fucking A. <laughs> you finally are like, All right, I'm going. <laughs> okay. I'm up here with Mon. <laughs> And now that you could, now that you're up there, you see there's a hole in the floor exactly the same size as the box he's holding. Oh, that's fun. Uh, I yell out, third time to charm, right? <laughs> right <yeah. laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna tell Luther, Luther, just in case I slip, I'm gonna need you to be ready to grab me. Okay, I'll. I'll Luther, you. Luther's more than willing to do that. He's Sorry. like. I will protect you, sir. I will protect you. Just sure. so you know, Luther, if everything pans out the way we want it to, we're going to make you the new king of that human city. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I just got it. You're destined. Okay, I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to say this works out. You're going to be destined for royalty. So you're that. destined for greatness. Yeah. All right. Just roll your strength check first. Hey, yeah. Pass. Roll well, your dex check. Ah! What a waste of a burger to get critical. Luther grabs him and pulls him back. <laughs> he's gonna get a bonus, but he's gonna have to figure out what his dex is. God damn it. This place is stressful. I had a 1 in 10 chance to fail that. You did. No, you had a 2 in 10. That was. Oh, was that a strength? Oh, 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 okay. okay. Luther not only. Okay. But he landed right on his decks. So what he's going to do is he's going to grab you and then put you right back again. You have to run. Roll your only your dex check. Hey, yeah. Fucking mess. Okay. So you make it. Fucking it. With the plate in hand. With the, the, with the big box. And Mon says, give it here, give it here. And so he's going to take the box and put it into place, wiggle it all around, move some stuff. He says, I didn't think it would work before, because it didn't have a power source and no other location. Without the second transfer plane, it doesn't do anybody any good. But the tower is the power source, and there's the other plane. You see another machine made of entirely glass. It's exactly the same as this machine you just put into place. Cool, I'm going to... Above your head. I'm going to stand on top of the transfer plate. Wait, wait. No, that's cool, I got this. So okay. So what's going to happen is, while you're standing on the, the wooden transfer plate at the bottom, 
it's going to launch a crank arm straight up. But only about halfway to the top. The other transfer plate on the top, the one that's all glass, launches down like a claw and it grabs you. Grabs me? Mm hmm. And pulls you up and then flips over. It's not on top. So now you're in the. If this is the giant ice sheet at the bottom, and these are, there's this short platform at the bottom. I'm on the second platform. You are on this platform. Yeah, well, I wanted the perception check to see what was going on inside this area here. Nothing. It's a, it's it, empty. It's a ten foot area with a hole in the floor. Seven hundred meters to one perception. I'm checking what's. Oh, I don't know what kind of stream to say. You don't see anything. You think you feel something? And remember when you were looking at the building, there was that glinty eye thing. You could kind of see that there was something there, but you couldn't actually see it. It was just like a wave of light. That's all around you. So it's out of the prison? No, there's, there's a glint of light here, there's a glint of light here, there's a glint of light here, there's a glint of light here. Okay, okay so I'm going to step on the light now. That's what happens. I think I need to step off this plate. Okay. When you step off the plate, the, the plate that you were standing on, the all glass one flips back over. Alright, I'm going to ask, um, well, before I do, I'm going to ask Luther if I can take that time. So. Are you going to scream at him? Yeah. <laughs> Except that's not what I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> we already that's decided exactly. that I'd start my face. Okay, right? whatever. Sure. All right, so you scream at Luther. What are you going to ask him? I'm going to tell him. I'm going to ask him if he's going to come with us on this, or is he going to stay there? No, no. I told him to say Luther's up. No, he's going to. It wouldn't make it. He's never going to make it. It would. It would shred his arms. Dude, he's like super weight down my armor and has a super large sword. He's really fucking sore. Okay. So uh, yeah, stay there. Hold down the fort and uh, console the dwarf. I guess. All right. So you three are on top of the the short platform in the middle. And you are above in the, the other platform. So, where are you at? What are you doing now? Level two. What are you doing now? <laughs> I'm going to step onto the transfer plate. Okay, so the transfer plate's going to shift up about halfway. Your claw's going to come down, grab you, pick you up, and then spin over so you're on top of it. Yeah. And as soon as you get up there, you can high five. Yeah. We almost got shredded. So you're looking yeah, at him. Yes. You're looking at him, right? Oh yeah. All right, then I'm gonna search around the room. All right, you're gonna see black outlines of men, very skinny, looking like glass people. All you see are outlines. It looks like this. Outlines of people. I'm assuming these are the ones that But all you see is the outlines. Their skin kind of, they're, they're thin and kind of boxy. Why? Right. Are we going to wait for a little? I'm going to wait for a little bit and see if they're there. No, no, no. You tell me that. I'm going to ask you to point out where they are. Well, I'm pulling that out, right? No, no, no. All right. no, 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 no. So there's. Just, I'm trying to see if they match a particular point of light around them. Well, in, yeah. in a box. There's one in each corner. You two are standing just off of the platform. Is Mon going to come up there with us? Yeah, she'll come up. So Mon comes up standing next to you. And then there's one in the middle of each side. So there's eight in total. Okay, so um, I'm going to start. Like I said, they're all around you. I'm going to start. Okay, we're surrounded. There's one in each corner, and then there's one in the middle of each wall. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start moving. Do they correspond with the points of light of the thing? Okay, I'm going to... It's not like a room, it's like an open platform. Oh, alright. Okay, I'm going to try to... I'm going to move around a little bit and see if they wake up or if they're starting to be alert. Or... You're not doing anything right now. Alright, I'm going to okay. start picking Is... them off. Well, no, no, no. Is there another way to another room? Yeah, you can see it. It's over uh, in this area. There's like a... Uh, Staircase. Do a spiral one? No, it goes around like this. And it, it's a butt, but it's made of glass, so it's very hard to see. You see it better because it's outlined in black. Yeah. Um, 
Because why did she have that pocket full of dirt? Can you see what's going on? Um, hey, Vlad, I need you to help me out. I need you to alert me if any of these start moving. Oh, I'm going to start shooting them. I don't want to get into an unnecessary confrontation. Oh, I'm sure we're just going to be able to mosey on up to the next level. I'm sure she can kind of try. I approach the stairs. You approach the stairs. Do you step on the stairs? I test it. I test the stairs. You know, the instant your foot touches the first stair, this guy is going to activate. Look out! He's moving around! I step off the off the thing, pull out my sword, and light up my arm. Alright, can I go up and attempt to push the glass thing off the ledge? I'm sure they're very sharp to me. You're just gonna walk up to it? I wouldn't do that. I, I've already told you they're very thin. They're they're gonna cut us. They're made of blades. Yeah, they're blades. It's the same blades that are all <coughs> over this fucking <coughs> place. Okay, well now I'm gonna go with my good old fashioned plan and light it up. I'm gonna shoot it. Okay, okay, you shoot that one, right? Uh-huh. Roll your attack roll. Roll more dice. Look. Bam. Bam. Yes. Bam. Mm-hmm. So, so three times. <clears throat> so it hits top shoulder and that's right. And bottom thigh. Right here, this shoot. So the two and one and a four on the edge. That's not three four. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you under, are you entertained by this? So the first one you hit, how, what was your attack damage? Uh, a two, a uh, three, or four? Yeah, sure. It was a one. It was a two, a one, and a four. A two, a one, and a four. No, 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 no. It was a three, a four, and a one. No, it was not. It was a two. Yeah. It was seven <laughs> damage total. Okay. Seven damage total? I can't evade for whatever. It's going to lose an arm. It's going to shatter and just fall in the ground. Glittery, shiny, little <coughs> pieces. Arm. arm. It's one yeah, arm. arm. The arm that he, when he hit his shoulder, the whole shoulder just sort of shatters its glass. What you're going to see is that inside is nothing but glass and water clockwork. Like gears made of glass and weights I can with see water. It. He can see it. It's all, it's all black outlines it's for mechanical. him. Durr, it's, a, it's, it's a You it's didn't a, know that. Shut up. It's a machine oh, made of glass. Okay, okay. It's a machine made of glass. I'll say about so, nice to meet you, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Have a good night. Yep. It's basically invisible. Um, and you Would there be water pouring out the side of the throat? You, you, didn't, you didn't blow one of its wings. Uh, it's just a shoulder. Well, I'm going to... Man. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Its head just sort of explodes with that second arrow. Did you take damage from the shrapnel? No, okay. you, you're fine for right now. And then this leg is still intact. It's still there, but it's having trouble moving it. So it can't walk around as much anymore. Okay, Kyle, take that cup, start creating liquid that's not clear, and slosh it. And try to see if you can bite these things up. Okay, do you have the list of liquids that I can make? Yes, I do. Alcohol, mud, oil, water, and fire. Okay, I pull up the room cup. I say mud, and I toss it towards where it can shock you. I can see the air is still in this. Well, so, no, no, no. Get some of the other ones. You know where they're at. Oh, yeah, yeah. I use mud and I start sloshing on. So you're where just I throwing a bunch of mud around. Well, I'm one of them. I can see one blend by a third mud on it. It's going to be your action turn. That's fine. And you have to roll an attack roll. Okay, here's another thing I want you, you to pass. do. Okay. Since these things aren't technically living, I wonder if you could use your magic mode to throw them off the edges. Right. Um, I can only look at the center of the way. Okay, I'm trying to. 
Next okay, one. Okay, next one. okay, so but this one, you've covered in mud now, and you can totally see it's completely activated. The other one? This one's totally activated, and this one's activated as well. By destroying, by, by hurting this one, these two are activated. So they're on like a loop. If you if you harm one or attempt to move up the, up the steps, it activates one, right? And if that one gets hurt, then it activates two more. So what we need to not do is attack the ones in the corners. We need to go in a circle, basically. It would, yeah, it would always, it would always, uh, two more. Oh, uh, it's always two more? Yeah. So if you, uh, if you attack this one, it attacks both, it turns on both of these. And if you attack this one, it turns on both of these. You get what I'm saying? It's always two more. Okay. So basically we need to try to, no, we need to try to slow. Because it's just deal with them one at a time. It's gonna get worse and worse. Now. Is the one that um, he shot the head off still advancing? Slowly. It's moving forward, Slowly. but it's gonna swing its arm at Tony. Can I just back away from it since I'm faster than you've it? Already, you've already taken your turn. I mean, <laughs> realistically, if it's slow and dangerous, can I just get away? You could roll a dodge roll. That doesn't mean it's gonna work. Thank you. So, we have. By the way, Kate, I know I didn't tell you this earlier, but <clears throat> while we were on our way, I switched off my leather armor that I was wearing in the Mel City for my good armor. So I sure you had it on. Sure you did. Um, sure. I'm gonna let you have some points for this. Now, uh, so my total defense boost is six. Is that three, one, and then two? It doesn't matter, you missed it anyway. Okay. So, he swings, and just, they just can't keep up with him. But all you're seeing is a black outline. Just a uh, fucking black. I can see it coming out of that. Yeah, it's moving. you can see it moving. You can see that black outline. But that's all it is, is an outline. <coughs> this one, this one, this one, this one, all of these are now active. We've only attacked that one so far. And that one's blood on that one. So oh. these two are activated. Wow. Oops. <laughs> well, I do have colleagues that throw these guys off. Wow. So this half comes back and puts it in the But you can't swash mud on and throw them off in the same thing. Can you let me do that thing that I've done before where I can attack two separate guys with each gun? You'll take a... Uh, you, you won't get your aim bonus. Because you have to multiple So can you see them like at all? We can see blitz, you can see the edges. Completely invisible what I miss? Well, we're just Don't you jump on me. You well, know it'll happen. My plan is we're, we're fighting a uh, fighting a bad guy so we can get out of Basically, the I'm going to 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 i am 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 and they are probably happy. Yeah, You're my gray right. edited. My gray yeah, sweatpants. It's live, it's Thomas. Shut up, shut up. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, we have two, because I'm very smart, Thomas. Okay, Kyle. At least whatever. Don't attack the fresh one, so I'll activate more. Just 
Throw, throw them into each other if you want. But okay. Do the same ones that we've attacked. That's just me advising. Oh, you only attacked one. Unless you attack two. You throwing mud so on That was me. What? Yeah. Yeah. what dog? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to so throw all. Okay, okay I'm going to pick up the one that has the arrows in it, and I'm going to oh, smash it into the one for mud. It's kind of, it's a dog's way of saying that you're close. Uh, roll, um... And he likes his ears red. Yeah. It'd be a wisdom check for focus. Okay. Fuck. Fucking critical! That's my, no, I checked with my firearm. That was my firearm. Yeah, sure it was. Oh. So you try picking it up, but the, yeah, the whole thing, oh. it, well, he's invisible, I, you're just focusing on a couple of arrows, and you just oh. sort of, your, your brain can't comprehend it right now. And you might be able to do it again, but Yay, it, you just can't get a hold of it. Can you allow him, <clears throat> since that was an attack so and he did roll a point, can you allow him to just miss the one covered in mud and still oh. throw that one? It was it was a on focus. A it was a focus check. I had to focus on it first before I can do it. Because when I have it, I can do a big dog. Oh, wow. Mm. Now you just got five guys attacking you all at once. With Dino Blade. Is Mon Mon sitting in the middle? He's he doesn't have any of his equipment. It's just sort of None of it. He didn't bring the gauntlet. He doesn't have the gauntlet or his boots. I don't know. He seemed pretty intimidating to me just because of his. Well, he couldn't see him if he wanted. See, he wanted. I'm gonna pull thirty-two off my arm and like have him. Try to smash it. <laughs> It'd be a move action, so you can't jump out of the way. You can't take a dodge. That's fine. Well, just don't attack that. Uh, roll your attack. You are playing for 32. He's going to jump at the one. I have played, yeah. I mean, I, I played it's one. It's a hit. Was pretty I just don't like right, so in one place for so 32 hours. is going to grab. Oh, yeah, because I'm like, Now I just don't like to sit in the spot for several the hours. Thing I never like to stay in one spot for two hours. Clear miss. That's, cool. That's, That's a good one. Um, one. no. You don't Those chew on the table. Time. You already ate one. <laughs> he, he eats tables? Yeah, have you not seen the chewing on the coffee table? All right, uh, Tony, it's your turn again. What a nut. I wonder what oh, he's got to chew on this stuff. Amy wants to smoke the hookah. Amy always smokes the hookah. Damn, I'm totally blocking me off the film. There's a chair. How's it going? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're fine. 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 Uh, All right, thing. can you take your turn, Tony, please? I didn't realize that was my turn. Dang it, Rand. I said it twice. Oh, yeah, it's me. I even think. Uh, You're not going to so, get over, don't spill the boots. That's one out of eight down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not some yeah. kind of delicious. No. Deliciousness. No. Delicious deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Okay, um. Okay, so next time, can you just. Does he, does he have to pass a wisdom check just to use the magic like move, or is that because Not every time. It's because he, he was aiming for another one. I can't, I was aiming at one that was obscure. It's because it's okay, because it's a complicated action. Just go for the guaranteed thing and just throw him off the edge if you could. No, 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 no. It was because I was focusing on arrows. Since I couldn't see it, I was focusing on the arrows, and I was focusing on something that was pretty much invisible to me. That's why I had to do a focus. Okay, so, so if I get to the one with the mud, what I could see it. I'm going to mm -hmm. look down and I'm going to try to look at their feet. What are their feet like? They're razor blades. Are they just little pokey things? Do they not have no, they're not like pokey things. They're not like sticks. They're like blades. You're they're like, like that. They're like rectangles. Or slosh mud on the ground. And since their feet are, I was imagining like little pins that they walk on. You don't have, how do you get them slosh mud? I have to come here. That takes a, an entire action. But if you can, if it's worth it to where they can't get towards us without falling over, then that's pretty helpful. But that's all depending on what sort of feet they have. They've got rectangular legs. See what I've drawn here? Yes. This basically, you know what a razor blade looks like? It looks like a snare. No, let's just attack them straight up. You can see these dudes. You can pump arrows into them, and I can, a mean 32 can attack where you shot. Yeah. That's okay. the best way to go about this right now because we really have no tools that can assist us effectively right now. 
We just okay. have to go at it head on. It'd be awesome if we had Luther, because, you know, odds are Walther, odds are Luther would shatter the entire place with the giant sword. Probably. Yeah. If any miss, it's going gonna, gonna to cause catastrophic damage. Oh, yeah. Even if you miss with an arrow. Well, there's no walls, though. We're in an open area. Yes, you are in an open area, with posts in the middle holding up the roof. But it's not like automatically I miss and it's going to hit this. No, it's it not. On where you're aiming. You also have to be careful of the floor and the ceiling. And the stairs, not on the shadow of the stairs. Oh, not at all. That's why I'm going to aim. That's why I'm in the middle and I'm aiming out. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead. And do you think I should aim for two separate ones so that you guys can see them? This That's one's down, down, by the way. No, we're going to go These one. These two are up. Okay, the one, the one with the mud. No, this one's down. Yeah. This one's up. The, this one, one's up. the one with the mud is the easiest target for me now because I can just get rid of that one. Okay, and this um, one's coming at us and that one's coming at us. So should I just shoot both of them? No, these all activate more. Okay, well, we need to we need to go after individual targets. If you take the one, the one covered in mud is the easy target for you. So I'm gonna yeah. attack a fresh one yeah, no. against my better judgment. Because you're just because next yeah. turn you're just gonna we, throw we off. regardless no matter which one we attack two more is gonna get activated and it's missing. Well, no, if it's one that we've already attacked, it won't activate more. I would think. Oh, okay. But that's that's very easy for you to take. Yeah, care of I'm gonna that. take care of this one. I'm gonna have thirty two take care of this one. So I'm gonna aim at that. Go one. for that one. And we're just gonna go in a circle. We're just gonna counter circle with each other. So we meet to the last one. Hopefully this isn't gonna bite us in the ass. No, I like that plan. We're we're destroying the circle. Re regardless, like it, no matter what we do, this could turn this could get very complicated very quick, so we just have to kinda of go for it. Because no matter what we do, it's gonna be complicated. Okay, well I'm gonna unload four arrows into that one. Well, your four attack rolls. That's a nine plus a keep, one. Keep rolling. I know what they are. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Twenty. That's a crit. Okay. And no, you have so more. Can I attack another one now? Assuming that that killed it. No. Okay. You've already cleared your intense attack. Okay. All right. That's. All right. So you get uh, two of them hit. Fifteen and twenty. So you get uh, three rolls with your D4 for damage. Two, four, four. Now I rolled that last one again. Yeah. That's a straight drop. What? <laughs> 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 so yeah. Two, two, and three. And bonus damage? That was the one. Oh, that was one. Oh, you need twice. Well, my nine plus the one and the two didn't do it. Mm -hmm. They have some defensive advantage. They, they, get, they get a bonus for being fucking invisible. But he can see them. He can see their outlines. Oh. It's not It's not a perfect They're representation. Obscured. They're obscured. So let's just say that one went really close to the side of his head. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were made of glass. They don't have a ton of health. So is it still up? Did I slow it down? Did I stop? Uh, hold on. I'm just determining where you put it. Because if he hits legs, it's not going to be in the middle. Well, he shoots like out of the shadow in the middle of the ground. When you critted it, 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 it did some serious damage. And this one. You were, you were shooting that one. This, the this one, it, it walked towards you, and then you just unloaded four arrows into it, and it pretty much just falls over. <laughs> so now there, there's water. There's, what? Did By attacking that one, you've activated two. Can you tell me, though, what, will having liquid on the ground make them slip and fall? Do they take it? Okay. Who? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was on, did you, uh, you know what you Facebook? He no. had a Facebook comment about, like, his favorite thing me, and, like, yeah, I'll just read it, because it's really funny. Um, Okay, it says, the only thing I hate about my favorite band, Queen, is the fact that I can't listen to them in the car because the music is so good that I want to close my eyes and just listen with my ears and relax. <laughs> um, and then someone's like, that's what designated drivers are for. 
And he's like, yeah, I'll have someone uh, drive me around to deliver my pizza. I shall call him Jeeves. <laughs> um, and I'm like, only thing I hate about Queen is that I will never see them play live. Yeah. And he's like, I agree. And he's like, and Jeeves shall also have the same love as for Queen as I, and we will have winged world moments as we drive. <laughs> <laughs> The game would have the same love for Queen. Yeah, yeah, he would, he would yeah. be like, that is, oh, I am oh, so, this is so good. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got cheese. I got cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. And, and besides, if you're having way more moments, you need an album. That's all you and me would be sitting yeah. in the back seat doing the yeah, freaking stuff. Wayne's World! Wayne's World! Party time! Excellent! No, I, was Excellent. Thinking, I was thinking the moment where they do the... What? Oh, I don't know the Queen song that's got the blue gray hair. Or something like that. Oh, you mean Maxine? Yeah, we're, we're in the background doing the vocal harmony. Galileo! In the back seat. Galileo! 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 Alright, so, so, um, <laughs> that's dead now, and I'm going to use my turn to, these are both down. You already used your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Well, you're done. Do you want to get moved all the time? No. Yeah. You can move, yeah. Okay, it's well, a five stepper. These are, these guys are both activated, but they're fairly far away. I'm yeah. going to go over here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my magic move on the one that I can see from mud. And I'm going to attempt to throw it at this glue here to try to break them both. Okay, um... Look at that. I don't know, you're looking at me in there? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! oh wow. Self burn! Self burn! <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, fat people of the world, be comfortable with who you are. Because you know what? You can still get bitches. I'm a living group. Yes, you can. So, anyway, um, that's, um, I'm trying to determine, uh, I'm going to let you do it, but just because you can see this one. No. Okay. You're so, not going to get to do it. So I have control of it now. You've, you've picked it up, and you're going to try and throw it at the other so one. So just, just roll a, a base attack roll. So so that's a hit. Yeah. You got it. So did they both shatter? No. No. This one hits this one. They bounce off of each other because they're attacking. Hardness. Okay. And they, this one's stunned, and this one, it, it sort of falls over. So it, this one's going to have to stand back up, and this one's going to have to regain. Will they take damage? It will take damage, but it's not going to be a okay. lot. They're, they're their own material. It's well, like, as long as he gets them away from us and did yeah. damage, I said that was a good turn. And then uh, 32. Yeah, the last one is also away. This one got. So all of them are awake now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have... Well, 30. except for the two that you already destroyed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have 32. Uh, it's going to attack one that is standing right now, this one. So it's going to attempt to attack the square, I guess, the lean. As well, obviously, 32, you can't see it. 32 has no idea what you're telling him to aim for. He just sort of sits there and waits. Um, okay. 32, do you know that? Well, oh! Yay! Okay. Does that one now have mud on it since this one was covered in mud and smashed into it? Nope. Okay. Um, also, I lost my point sign. Damn. You can't do attacks anymore. <laughs> my bellows are breaking down. No more damage. Too bad. You are yeah, pretty much worthless in this fight. Wait, Tony. Quick, take mine. <laughs> okay. What the fuck did I don't know. It just fell down and now it fucking vanished. So you get the red mm -hmm. magic. Ah, my legs! Oh, fuck! Monty, you're retarded for losing your time! <laughs> fuck you, Monty, you're ugly! <laughs> <laughs> Monty, knows it is learned to accept the fact. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect that of you, Monty, as smart as you are. How did you lose that? It is my okay. I'm not my pockets. There it is. Oh. It's, ha -ha! it's right on a red dot. Very nice. A red dot on a red dot. All right, oh shit, dude! I found those coals. Go get the coals. Go save them. Save them. I get tossed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
This live stream brought to you by Coconut or Coles. Uh, Please don't yeah, yeah, drop the coal on my carpet. No, oh, of course not. What are you doing? Well, probably the better, right? All right. We've already been, oh, we've we've already been playing for like an hour. Have we? Are we going to do our 10 minutes from Michonne? Oh, my uh, fucking legs. Urgh. Let's finish this fight, at least. Okay. Ugh. Oh no, an ad in Spanish! Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. no! You know, I said I was going to turn on some music, but I haven't. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, yep. Delete. Mm. Why stop it? Sorry, I saw, I saw myself. Yeah, it's so I beautiful. Knew, I knew it was delayed. I moved and I was like, wait, what? We're in a time warp right now. The, the other entity of the screen looks bad at me because it's on like a three or No, we're in a time warp, which then inspires me to sing. Alright, so these guys are all going to attack whoever's closest to them. So he's going to run for Mon. He's going to run for Mon. Mon, duck, there's a thing coming at you. He's going to run for you. Oh, no. These two are stunned until the next round, and this one just woke up, so it doesn't get a turn this round. Again. Okay, so what am I doing? Right oh, wait, no. Dad, Dad, can we just remove the bad ones to make it easier? They're, they're, they've been smashed upon the ground. Smattered. That one didn't quite make it to you. It's close, but it didn't quite make it. This one gets an attack roll on. Oh, no, it's going to come on. <laughs> it critical. Oh, cool. It's going to break itself. Not really. It can't because it's the same argument. No, I told oh. you what happens with the critical miss. Oh, yeah, they're losing attack. No. It's the fucking wolf. But it's the same plans. <sighs> this one's gonna attack you. I don't know. Oh! I don't know this one. What? Can I block with my star? Nope. Yeah, it only has one damage. Okay, let's pull on down this eight. Okay, so is it my turn? That's right. That's why it's going to suck in about two seconds. Uh, as long as we do this, I will be okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take two shots, and for the purpose of making these things easier for you guys to see, I'm going to shoot that one and that one. You can try. Alright, so this thing's kind of on the edge. Remember, you're, you're losing points for it being uh, it's, it's invisible, you're not getting, and then you lose your aim bonus for shooting it well, two at the same time. Yeah. Um, shoot the one that's close to mine. We really can't afford to lose this yeah. If we didn't have him, dude, we'd be totally done. That's what you know. He didn't want us to have him at all. But if we didn't have him so bad, we would have died a long time ago. <coughs> Oh, yeah, we would have died at the right power. Yeah. We would have been like, oh, yellow. And you would have been like, oh, I am stuck now. And you can't. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, um, yeah, attack one plus mom. This one's not really a threat right now. Uh, this one's a threat. Yeah. I'm going to take this one out because these two are stunned, but then these two are going to get attacked on me. Okay, so I'm wondering if I can lasso it and yank it off the edge. It'll pick it up. There, That's a very good point, Kyle. Just turn it and just shred your rope, and then you lose your whole attack. Yeah. Rope. And your rope. Rope's not a good I thing. I like how that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Okay. So I'm just going to unload on that one. Okay. If you, if you critical fail, you hit the building. If you almost critical fail, you hit Mon. If he hits a 2, he hits Mon? Mm -hmm. No, good luck. Ah! Okay, roll another one. Bam! Okay. No, Mon! No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Alright, so, roll three attack rolls. Two. That's Mon's. 
Like, I'm going to hit the one that's mine. Yeah, I hit my other one. I intentionally hit him to the soft layer in the non vital area. So, the one that attacked me, does it have like a little bit of my blood on it? So I can see it, you know? So, good shot. You know, maybe you could do some attack. You know, like a spray with the mud. Yeah, I'm just going to attack it. There's the one with the mud. I'm using your speed to draw smiley faces. Oh, hold on. Uh, basically, hopefully, if I get in danger, then we go on. Uh, I will activate on it. And then we get to the next one. We don't go and sort of activate it three times. But when? Yeah. 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 But it happened so fast, we didn't even notice. Thanks for sharing. Here I thought it was doing absolutely nothing. I just want you to know that this goal is stronger than all of the goals I spent that week last night. You're welcome. No, I was being kind of dumb. Stronger as in my bar shirt, stronger as in just getting. As when I'm more. Buzz than I was off of all of those. Yeah, I'm awesome. Those are like, that's, that's like a Frankenstein. Right there, so. Frankenstein. Alright, so. I think it did be good too. Mm -hmm. I don't do it very often, but when I do, I choose to accept it. <laughs> I don't always choose beer. When I do, I choose piss water. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. your turn. Okay. Did it down it? Um, did, did it down it some? Uh, it's got arrows in it though. And what was damaged on it? Um, it, 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 you got most of its upper body. Okay, it's yeah. still going to use it. On that one, I'm going to use my, I'm going to draw my steel sword and, and use my frog on On this one or that one? On this one. The one that was actually so it's like a samurai strike where you're like, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and then I punch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, sword. It's a mess. Yep, throw this. And then fire arm. Oh, this. Uh, it's, a, no, where I, is it? where? it's like I can't see it. What do I? What am I gonna do? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just roll really bad, but I'm I'm chopping it up. I can't see it, man. Yeah, as far as as far as the character is concerned, he's swinging in the air. He couldn't, yeah. couldn't see any more than so now. But now these two are unsafe. They, uh, they just, um, oh yeah, thirty-two. 32. Yeah, yeah. Thirty-two's gonna see the, see that I got hurt by something. And it's gonna try to one which I won't hurt. Fair enough. Draw it. Sure. And it doesn't catch me. It's a nine with modifiers, no. Their their modifiers are being fucking invisible pretty good. Damn it. Okay, so that one happens. Uh Mon is um, backing away behind and sitting between you two. Doesn't. Maybe get this little bastard a dagger or something. Yeah, can I can I pull a, one of my daggers out and give it to him as a free action? It would be considered a, uh, a move action, not a free action. So, it really so you can take your steps. move to do that, because I need to use our new one. Yeah. Yeah. I need your move action to get my dagger. I mean, he might try to kill you for your, for your ballista and run, but to the shot. Ah! You jump off. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, so. When he jumps off, he's gonna land on the ice down here and cut up, so fuck it. <laughs> this, and they go for their closest enemy, so they get two attacking you. Exciting! And you get one attacking you. Three, four attacking you. They're gonna try some dolls. No, no, they're attacking me. Uh, I'm, I'm getting owned right now. He's about to get four fucking nightmares <coughs> to the face. But I'm hoping the Ruby Golem will activate and, like, they just sell in or something. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, I'm about to try. It's a 12 on this. 
They had the one health, and then suddenly they all stop, turn around, and start attacking the door. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're down to one health. Yeah, I know. Write it down. I will. Fucking in. So basically, Tony, what has happened is I was able, my green arm projected an image of myself over here. Mm -hmm. So now we can unload on these motherfuckers. Surprise attack? Yeah. You have one still attacking you. I do get a dodge attack. Six damage. Ouch. You bastard. You started with nine health, right? Mm -hmm. So all these are ten this of you? There's there the other over there. I say we run up the stairs and then they'll be forced to come at us one at a time. Bottom neck them? Yeah. Does that work? Sure. It's not like we have to worry about more activating. Who's down to try that? Can I do a, a group turn to have us all run onto the stairs where they're distracted? Still have one slashing your face. Yeah, maybe take out this one and try to call it. Okay, so I'm going to refocus my attack. Bam, bam, bam. Let me tell you how to. You were over, he was over here getting uh, face thumbed. Mom was in between you two trying to stay protected as possible. And this one was in the middle. So it slashed me and now it's at my turn? Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. So take that one out. Unload you know. on it and then can I ask the uh, DM respectfully if we can make our way up the stairs? The bottom of my Try it. Okay, so these are my attacks onto the one that's really close to me. Epic yeah. Yeah. We're right in front of me. What can I do? I'm so stupid. It's three epic misses in a row. Hey, one hits. Yeah. Oh, uh, four. Two, four. Oh, one giant. Oh, awesome. So now, can I run up the stairs? <laughs> No, he's still fucking beating your face. Yeah, um, it's my attack though. So. If you if you attempt to run away, you give him an attack of opportunity. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, I'm rolling a d6 for these guys. 50-50 chance of better maybe. Yes. Actually, uh, it's, it's much higher than 50-50. They have a very good chance of downing you. Yeah. Um. Okay, it's my attack. I'm gonna turn and since I can arrow sticking out of this one, I'm gonna That's attack him. <laughs> And, well, no, you, you hit it. You just hit it more. What are you talking about? Uh, and, well, I'm going to attack it. Sword. And, uh, <coughs> and fire fist. 11, and with my modifiers, but my fire damage. That hits? Yeah. Okay, and that's a piece of ice. Five, six, seven points of damage? Yeah. No, four. Five. Yeah, oh, no, fucking 32. 32 attack. Fucking so misses again. Damn, 32 suck. He can't see him! Oh, stop sucking, 32. A pistol soul should not be carried this way! <laughs> Fuck off, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's still up. Hold on. Hit it enough. If we dealt six total points of damage, to it. who knows? Maybe fire actually does bonus damage to this. I need a glass. Oh, yeah. Glass can be fucking like my glass. Yes. And it's a magic fire. It's extremely hot. But right now, it's we need to be Yeah. These guys are more fragile than they are fucking mm -hmm. fire. fire. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm probably going to die. Snatch man behind No, man. If we did enough damage for this thing to get down, we can run. Bottle back. Well, luckily, these are distracted. I'm not sure about this guy, but I mean, these guys are distracted. So. Mm -hmm. Did he see the projection that I cast out? 
someone thinks that it's happening to you. What he sees is augmented reality. Okay. So basically it just puts stuff in front of his face. So it's it's well no, I mean I mean my my astral projection of myself that distracted those and that's magical. So he can't see that. He can't if, if, if only if he was the one attacking me, he yeah. can see it. Okay. Let's give you a poke in the stomach. <laughs> That fucking is something. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be unconscious. Alright, so, can Mon use his action to give me pots? I didn't give Mon any pots. He has pots, and Mon can reach with his bag. No, Mon. Mon might be able to do that. Try it. I'm gonna give him one of my. You gave me a very long time ago. The first questions I got were question mark health questions. That's how I wrote them down. You didn't tell me what they were good for. You just told me that they were potions. He got one d six. I gave. I gave him. He bought one one d six, and then he bought four one d six from that one lady all at one time. Mm -hmm. And if Kate's going to dare ask, those question mark ones are better than the six ones. Or those question mark ones would be poison. Well, no, they're health potions. I, 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 a health potion drank incorrectly can be a poison potion. Well, I remember at the time I was like switching around the viscous liquid, and you assured me that they were at least potions of health. But I couldn't, I well, don't know. Well, if they make that bleeding very badly. <laughs> All right, so Mon's going to take a potion out. Which one do you want him to take? The to ones take? that I don't know how to get there. Because All right, roll, roll a 20-sider. Um, uh, oh, shit. Let me hear him. What? Since it's my one. No, nope, he's liar. He's a fucking liar. I rolled a nine. That's a pretty thing. stupid. I, I, I said in my head, if, if he rolls anything but a 1 or a 20, full health. And I roll a 1. He rolled a 1. Why? <sighs> Damn statistics. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't boss so you drink, So you drink down the whole potion, Mon pours it in your face, and nothing happens. You got swindled. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. It's you're mixing character knowledge with your I, mixing your I with with you. <laughs> for, well, for all you know, you got swindled now because it didn't work. Okay. So it's not it's not as players we know I rolled poorly, so it did nothing. But as as our characters are aware, you got that fucking swindled. Wasn't bad. That potion wasn't bad. And this is the part is where that I, still up? You never told us for sure. Still up. You still up. So basically what's gonna happen now is I'm probably gonna get down and it's all two. I don't know. Mom's not strong enough to drag his body. No, he's not. I doubt Mom can fucking move 135 pounds. So We need something smart. There's there's gotta be a smart way that we can make a barricade. They're, they're all on one side of us, and there's a big open pit right there. These ones are distracted, though. Did you take your turn? What? Did you take your turn? Is it my turn now? Yeah. Okay, so um, what happened was these guys were attacking, and then you took your turn, and then Mon took his turn to give him a potion that did nothing, so it's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, this is my, how much does my heal do? You heal? Yeah. It's a 1d6. It's a 1d6. I'm going to attempt to... Should I attack it or should I heal myself? What? Can you use it in battle? Yeah, I, this is... I remember after him. He, he upgraded it. It's a, it's a standard heal instead yeah. of, this, this, uh, this of a light heal. Did you do a 3 times a day thing? Or is this, this is a 3 times a day. day. So I can do one of two things. I can heal myself or I can attack this one that's damaged. Let's down this one and then run to the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna attack the one that's not a damaged sword attack. Oh, fuck, you got it. One of them. Sword attack. Alright, well, it's down. 
When you hit the fire damage, it, the something happens and it just sort of like bursts into smoke, flame stuff. It just sort of well, they're full of water. So. Do you have my like, put his hand up against it, superheat and dry out all the water so it can't work now? Sure. Come on. So, <laughs> so can, since I didn't use my move for last time, the only thing I did was shoot. You, you did use your move. Mm-hmm. You gave a knife to the moment. No, we were talking about that, but uh, I never removed a knife from my inventory. You know, I'm good. But now all these are distracted. You bar this guy, right? Because right. you're too distracted. Well, why don't you run up the stairs then? Cause you yeah, I have a move still. Um, I'm going to run up the stairs. I'm going to order 32 to attack in this general location where this moon is. Well, maybe just have him be in the way. Like, <laughs> What the fuck is he going to do? He's this big! Mm-hmm. He's an itty bitty guy! You could make it trick. Just No, I'm just... 32 is going to try to attack that guy. That's fine. But I'm running, so. I'm going up these stairs. I'm trying to. I'm going to go up some stairs. Explore is really well, so we stop every five seconds. Alright, so. I'm going to show you as soon as you see that second one. That's good. This one, this one, and this one. Attack. This one and this one. Swing. Realize that there's nothing there. And then turn around. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay, so for my turn now, can I... There is these are fresh? No. No, no. No, he's only looking damage. This one is only another one. You still haven't taken these two down. Oh, yeah. You are smashed they, them together and they took damage, but they're not down. So are these ones fresh? Yeah. This one was the one that attacked Mon. You shot several arrows into it. This oh, one, yeah. This right one right. is the one that came from this corner that got activated. So this one's damaged. Right now. Okay, so can I... Is it my turn? Yeah. You're okay, true. so can I shoot this one and then run up the stairs? You can shoot one and run to the stairs, but not up the stairs. Okay. Close enough to where it can't get me right away. Okay, um... Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I'm going to shoot it. <coughs> or if I take my full action, can I get up the stairs? If you spent, if you spent your full action, you could, go with the, you could go up the stairs with that. But then you'd come on <coughs> down there by yourself. It's, it's about to be his turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, after you. Oh my God, what's <laughs> All right, I'm gonna land into that one. That's a critical hit. Roll three more rolls. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, so roll four, four, four three, four. Mm-hmm. So, no, no, yes, that one. It's it's coming. Home. We're fighting glass guys, made out of glass, and they're really hard to see except I can see them because I have special technology. We're fighting glass so that cool? All right, so Mon's gonna run over. He's gonna take that knife and he gotta swing it up. <laughs> but Mon's really fucking fast, so he needs two attacks. Ooh, wow. Ooh, like a boss, dude. Oh my god. He goes. <laughs> <coughs> Mine's done more damage than I have. That felt sad. This is the one that was untouched in the corner. And it just took six. Five minutes? So it's six. Alright. He is not 18 when we get served. Yeah. And your turn. Yay. Um, I'm going to use uh, a light stage attack on the one fucking 
Phoenix is trying to follow the ball. He's yeah. a lot of focus. Four 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 focus. I'm attacking the one with mud on it using my left hand. Don't you spell mud right? Mm -hmm. Nine, seven, eleven. Okay, I'm probably going to be playing one now. I'm still going to focus is undermining the stadium. Is undermining the stadium. Yeah. Oh, is it wisdom? My wisdom's 16. Yeah, you are. You passed. Oh, so you're going to grab him, you're going to do some damage roll, and then six. From magic attacks. Six. And that was the one with the wood on it? Yes. Uh, okay, These two are still attacking. This one turns around and attacks Mon. Is Mon now taking this fight? You don't realize Mon's on a much higher level than both of you. Really? Yeah, you have 13 once in hell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to attack for two damage? We never tried to attack Mon, but apparently he has a lot of health. So. I'm down with him before. You know, we battled with him a couple times, and we barely were able to tie him up. Mon is fucking fast. He's got a lot of health. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, Tony, I believe it's your turn. Okay, so I'm out the stairs. <clears throat> Oh fuck, I never opened it. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, to moon. Yeah, so can I uh, go ahead and. Which one's damaged? They're both damaged. Uh -oh. You hit one and one. Wait. No, Mon. Mon did the attack to this one. This is the one that I had slammed the mud one into. That was this one. This one's fresh. No. Alright, well, I'm going to Wait, where's the mud one? Because the mud one was still up. Okay, you're right. This is the mud one. This is the one that got smashed. So. I'm going to shoot the one that got smashed a bunch of times. I'll pour him from me. Yep. 13. Yes. That's it. You follow my modifier? Yes. Yeah. Give him 11 and hit. 14 and 14 is modifier from it. Did you get 200 regular attack? And you never Which one are you attacking? He's attacking the, the mud one. Or the one I got smashed with the mud one. How many attack rolls did you get? Uh, he hit. He hit it twice at least. Well, when he hit it once, he got seventeen, and then he just rolled that. That's okay, so it rolled two more. No, 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 because he that was, was about roll. to do it. He he missed two. such a guy. Oh, okay. Yes. Roll uh two attack uh, damage. Mon's going to take these two, two attacks. What's that one? He doesn't do violence, so it's still standing still. What about me? Did I hit something? You attacked it. It, it, yeah. it hurt it. Yeah. I attacked it. When you smashed into it, you, it you're. You're looking at its side, so it's you're shooting basically into its mid torso over here. It's not, uh, and it, it's still relatively invisible and very thin. So it, uh, even the ones that do hit, are just sort of like gladding it and chipping off a bit of glass, okay. making it easier um, to hit vital stuff later. Okay. I'm gonna use my focus, my magic move on this one, the one that's not been touched yet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attempt to throw it off the side of the button. Oh, tricky focus. Got it. So it's six on the mic. Sixteen. Okay, so it it goes up and it slides to the edge. Um, but as it gets to the edge, it, it's gonna it's gonna try as a latch disc as a last ditch effort to Fire something, so it shoots, and its arm launches off. That me? Uh, right over Mon's head, towards the stairs. It right through the, the 
bottom step. Okay. So the, it's not the stairs aren't gone, but if you put more than eight, a little bit of it, and this thing, this goes. Down. I imagine it like lands good. She's chilling there at the ladder. Some good for her, like dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at there. I'm done. Alright, so you take your attack. And 13. So she's going to attack him covered in mud. Yes. Yes. 32 is a 1d4. In the dog. Lashes. Are we still alive? Yes, we're still alive. We're always alive. Your entire life is alive. Alright, so the mud one, when 32 grabbed it, it, it sort of like stumbled around and then it, it just sort of like falls over. And then 32, sitting on top of it, just goes and the whole thing just underneath him. Yay, 32. <coughs> It's all Ooh. jumping on the pilot. That's what I said. Shh. 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 And they, nope. yeah, they both nope. are. I only lose one point of accuracy if I shoot both. Yeah, but you'll lose your aim bonus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and shoot both of them. Two, one. Fucking critical fail! We're all gonna die now because OBT hits the thing. So I'm assuming that the floor has health. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of, I mean, <laughs> what the hell is going on with the Nice. Only got one good attack out of this one. Roll two damage rolls. Four. No, that one's not down. Blah, blah, blah. So, what happens when I'm at? You hit the ground. You, you smash. You, you, you're you're still standing up above hey, on the steps, firing, and ch -ch 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 -ch. and you just hit two of them. Sort of like hit the ground and bounce off and just go off into nowhere. One hits the ground, sticks in hard, and you see this long crack generate across the floor. Uh, uh, this means like as you roll the the ground has its own health bar. So we need too much damage to it. That's gonna be yeah, that. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay. The clever mechanic though. Okay. Mon's gonna go. And Mon's gonna go in the front of that place. Oh. Yes. I can't fucking see him. Okay. Uh my turn. I'm going to use He's all he knows there's something there, so he's all pop, pop. <laughs> I'm gonna use light damage. What? It's gone. Sorry. Okay. Um, light damage on the one that's still up. Seven, twelve, thirteen with the modifiers. <clears throat> what website is this? Justin TV. Justin TV. What's that? It's a live stream website. Roll your 1d4. Yeah. How about you move to d6? And it is to match the type. Yeah. My first instinct was to start dumping up the pound of jar that I like. I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then, like, you look at the stairs and the stairs damage, so I'm like, what do you mean you can not set on the Um, So I'm just have Bob jump up to us. Like land We're at the foot of the step. We didn't go up the stairs at all. You you, you did a little bit. Um, you're you're above the the ground level, um, and the steps are attached to the 
the floor but and you put any more weight on it. If you if you try putting a bunch of weight on it, you're gonna okay. Wait, would Manya pick it up on him? If if he stood on that bottom step the whole thing, it, it's gonna bring all three of you down. Okay, so I'll stay put, you go up to the second story and then Well I'm gonna I'm gonna well first I'm gonna need my pure white wounds on myself. So in a second. Yeah, I'm gonna drink it. It's a it's, 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 it's a heel. It's a it, I, I, it's like a it's a standard, standard it's a standard it's heel. Standard, yeah, so. I suppose you could call it a combat heel. Mm -hmm. Six. I'm gonna drink one of my D six potions. Alright, I'm gonna drink another. Three points. Hey, you just got back half of what you lost. So. Um. I'm going to make my way to the top of the stage very cautiously. All right, one more, one more. Is that all your potions? Yeah. No, I have two more. All right, so you should get two more. Yep. Cool. Um, okay, I'm going to cautiously head to the top of the stairs. All right, at the top of the steps, you're going to see three things that... that oh, by the way, by the way, we beat this fight! Woo! High yeah. fives, everyone! Yeah. Woo! You're, you're going to see three things that jump out of you. This is a much smaller version of the downstairs base, right? Are there columns everywhere? So there's columns, but you don't see the glints. Okay. Right? So basically it's, it's, it's a big flat platform, and then another platform above. But this time, there's a staircase that's not like a staircase. It's, it's more like a ladder, but it uses a very horizontal ladder. Okay. And, and it goes up to that other platform. Okay, I'm going to stay put near the top of the stairs, so I'm not standing on them now. I'm really drunk. Alright, what's Mark gonna do to get up the stairs up there? Toss him a rope, dude. But can he just jump to me? He can hop up the steps and something. Like he's so lightweight once once you guys get off of it. It's, it's yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go up the stairs and then wait for Mon and the more Mon's up there you can just grab what I see. Alright, so you're all gonna be at the top. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you look around and no more outlines of people, but you do see outlines of boxes. Glass boxes right next to each and every post. And they appear to be empty. There's like five empty. posts. One, two, three, four, five. Holding up the square up above your heads. Uh -huh. Now the square is only very small. It's maybe five feet, right? It's, it's tiny. Yeah. Um, and then the the like ladder thing starts in one side and heads up to the other side. So I'm mean, gonna go ahead and assume that this is the loop room. The same exact thing that we saw in the other place. There's like, you, what you see is the outline of the box. It looks like this. But they're bigger than what you saw in the, other, in the red one. So, I think they're, they're loot chests. So, this next step up, oh, examine the ladder. Is there anything suspicious about the ladder? Look at the ladder. You can see the outline of the ladder. It's made of glass, it's, it's nearly perfectly invisible. But it, it, it's, it, you can see it, you can see it too, it's like a glinty, shiny, thin ladder that you walk up, and then it's just glass. These boxes appear to be you can see through them. Right? You can see through them, but they've got the machines inside. The mechanic stuff, all made of glass. So this is the loop. I don't know about you, I'm going to start up here on the box. Please don't. <laughs> Not until we get the front line back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to climb the ladder to the next one. Alright, so you climb to the ladder, and what you see is on a table in the middle is a pair of... square glasses and a large room. Square glasses, large room. And a large room and it's like these in the middle. Mm -hmm. Do I recognize what kind of room it is? Well, no, it's not an abyssal room like you've seen before. True. Well, but it's not a hell room or a, a celestial or like a holy room either. Okay. Um, move the room over now. I put there on glass. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab the glass. I'm gonna reach out with my stone arm and camera. You're going to touch the glasses. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. You're in a little white space. Ah, empty. Damn it. 
You I knew I, this was going to happen. I don't want it to happen again. Okay. It's going to happen every time you touch I tried to ignite my arm. Oh, no. <laughs> Fucking, it's not my own. No. Is that what happened? And he's in a white room. It's the exact same thing happened again. And then Zoppagamer's going to show up. I'm going to fight it. Well, we don't know that. There's a gentleman in the room. Yeah, is he laughing hysterically? No, he is not. Good, this one's not fucking batshit insane. No, this one's not batshit insane. The last one was batshit insane. This one, as you can sort of figure from the glasses, this one is very um, high society. He's he's very intelligent. <laughs> he read a lot. He was capable. He was very hard to trick because he was very smart. Okay. So there's... There's that. He's not going to say anything out of the ordinary. He's not he's going Are they going to have to have a game of riddles? No, no riddles. That's, yeah. He's going he's gonna to stand there and uh, look at you. He, he doesn't, go, doesn't, doesn't shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, approach this entity and say, Hello, sir. My name is Zali. Hello. We may not have an answer. It's been here a long time waiting. I like it. Don't get to think much when you press the company. What are you waiting on? I am mm. not waiting on anything. Simply waiting for I to be forced to wait here. Which one I've got? I've come seeking the power of the dining room. Are you tired, Rick? Well, chillax is. This is a problem. He's still in this call, chillax. Well, that's. You know, you have. Uh, yes, you have. Are you? You have the glasses, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but um, do I have the glasses in my head? Yeah. A little bit. You can't, you can't see them, you don't, you can't feel them, so as far as you're okay. concerned. You can Skype there. on this, can it? Mm. Shut up, Thomas. Okay, man. This computer's making noises. Uh, can you take it in the other room, Thomas? Please, can you take yeah, it in the other room? Right, right, right. <laughs> Where did you realize what this is? Oh, oh he's, he's watching the last video. <laughs> yeah, um, I have I grabbed the glasses and then I found myself in this place. <laughs> oh, so you must be trapped here with me then. I've been trapped in a place like this before and I was able to escape. By killing you. Shut up. <laughs> There are, in fact, 10 of you. You guys in this for oh, two hours? That's not kind of Jesus Christ. Seriously, Thomas, take him to the other room, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, no more reason. Must not have been the only one. Ten, you say. So all of you know that I highly doubt that all of you ask him to explain the situation for his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Shush. You shush. I'm working on it. Okay? What, what did you say? Because you said a very powerful. I highly doubt that all of them have been caught. Well, I know for a fact that the ruby one was caught. Ah, so you went into the red tower. Yes, and the red tower no longer stands. That's in the red tower. Shut up, Tony! You must know this. I'm not really here. Simply a soul trapped. 
I'm aware of that. Yes. Well, then why are we having this kind of discussion? It's a good question, but only way I know to get out of here, unless you have some greater insight, is if I defeat you in combat. This is not something I want to do. If you would be so kind as to go quietly, this is something you can avoid. You you speak as though I have some choice in the matter. I was placed here forcefully. Who placed you here? Well, this name is Anathema. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Alfie no longer stands. You have just found Alfie has been gone for many years. His artifacts of his technology scattered throughout the world. Alfie is fallen. I show it in all of it. I'm listening. I don't know if I expect you to all expect this. It takes time to dance, but it is a simple enough magic. It's called the spell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do I have one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And basically, you're just going to cast the spell magic on um, so, so the top. One of these. Yeah. It will release both of your souls. The escapes. The escapes. Okay. Yeah. Do you want out of this place? I have been trapped here for many, many years. Yes. Of what? Of exactly how many? I do not know. But I can tell you, it's been a couple thousand. It's been a couple thousand since the Golem King fell. The Golem King fell. Since I do not know much of what occurred. In the past, but I know now that I am, I have been dubbed by some as the Golden Prince. Well, my age, I shall offer you no defense. At this point in time, you have two options. Those is both slay me. You seem like a pretty hard guy. I would rather not say you. Red, on the other hand, I must say he was very insistent on fighting me. Hey, he's not going to say anything else. He's going to go ahead and give you his choice. I'm going to cast the spell. So you cast the spell, and the whole whiteness goes away, and the the room returns to normal, and you're standing on top of this glass tower, and you have the glasses in your hand, and uh, the the rune stones kind of slid to one side a little bit, and the podium that you were sitting on is slowly sinking down. Alright, is that me? Is the dude in the room? No, okay, so it's still just a bird camera. Yeah, you hear a voice that says, Oh, I'm not good. Um, it said thank you. Alright, can I immediately run, run down into the below floor and start trying to pop up? I'm going to snatch up the large room stand. What are you going to do? Try to run downstairs and try to mute the room. That's not okay, you go downstairs box. and you touch a box. The instant your finger goes in contact with the glass, the whole box picks itself up, throws out an arm, and spins around. Smashing the column in front of you. Oh. Well, let's oh. Get... Was it mechanical? Yes, it's mechanical. The box, the whole box, is designed to make it look like it's something interesting in there. But if you touch it, it destroys the building! Uh, you needed to inspect the boxes before you. Didn't. You just fucking touched it. 
He never said he touched him. He just says he ran downstairs. No, he touched him. He said specifically. Try to open. He attempted um, to open. Okay. okay. Right. Well, I snatched up the rune stone. I want you to know. So you have the rune stone and the glasses. You run down the ladder. He said. Step in my pocket. Run down the ladder. What did you do? Uh, touch the box. Help me. Help me put these open. Box, box, the box, second, box, box. The second box picks itself up, draws out an arm, spins and smashes another pop. I run to one of the chests and try to open it. It's not chests. They're the boxes. The whole point of these boxes is to bring the building down. So there's nothing nothing inside them. You have the only two items in this entire tower. Exciting. Fucking go downstairs. Uh, uh, the third box picks itself up, spins around. Okay. Yeah, we're going to start running down. The other two columns are then now holding up that five-foot pl- platform above you. Alright, I'm running down the stairs. Yeah, me too. Okay. Fucking Mon's leaping his way down. Mon stands on the the transfer pla- plate. Yeah. That drops him down. That's exactly what I'm doing. Run down to the transfer plate and go to the down. You can't step on the transfer plate. It's halfway through carrying Mon down. God damn it, Mon, hurry! <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm gonna, well, I'm The waiting. whole top of the, the thing <laughs> hits the next platform above you, the, the roof. Now it's to... The whole roof. Uh, should I yell at this? Cracks. I'm looking, Cracks. Well, I'm Cracks. waiting for the thing to get mobbed. Should I yell? No, I can yell at this right the, now. The thing, we might not survive. The oh. thing flips over again. punch the ground. The, yeah. thing, the, the, the transfer plate flips over again. Uh, we're gonna jump on it together? Sure. Jump on it. We're gonna jump on it together. You're both on it together? Yeah, it won't spin over. Push her out of the way. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, let's take it in there. I'm gonna look out the window and see if there's still that same booby trap down there. Yeah, the same booby trap is still in operation down in the water. Uh, okay. Um, can I throw a rope to Luther? Can I do a accuracy thing? Too far away. Too far away. I have 150 feet of rope. It's not. It's not like it's. It's too far away for the rope to reach. It's too okay. far away for you to make it that far. Okay, so I'm going to tie rope to the end of one of my arrows and shoot it down at the ground. If you put a rope around an arrow and try to to muck an arrow into your machines, it's just going to break your machines. Okay, so I'm patiently waiting for <laughs> Kyle to get down the blade. Am I? Am I down there now? Yeah, yeah, you're at the bottom. Okay, I run over towards the ladder. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna step on the plate. Okay, just as you step on the plate, the, the roof, and you get the giant shard that flips, it flips you over, and the clay claw arm grabs you and starts carrying you down. And you, all three of you can see right up through the, the platform above the, the roof just. Because you guys had already damaged the floor. Yeah. So the whole thing just... And so now, shards of glass, as well as the thing that's holding you aloft, all of this is falling. So now you are in a deadfall. And all of this glass is headed straight for your heads. All right, can I aim up and break apart the shards of glass that are going to fall on my head? This is what? Yeah, you're gonna shoot arrows at glass. Well, there's like a giant yeah. light. <laughs> sure. This, this is this is make believe case. I know it's make believe. That won't work. Yeah. You um, can shoot your arrows all day. You've been wasting a ton of them. Uh, um, you even have track of how many arrows you have left. Shut up! I know exactly how many he has left. Are you telling? He's got. He, <laughs> needs to, he needs to keep some serious track. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are these normal arrows, or are they specially crafted arrows? The crossbow ones. They're they're they're, they're regular arrows. You can put anything in there as long as it's arrow shaped. That's weird. Have an Break off some tree branches. <laughs> okay, so we're in free fall. There's a shit ton of debris falling on us, and I'm at the ladder. Did Mon make it across? Did you try to run across? He yeah, hasn't tried to run across. Okay. I'm um, pretty sure that's suicide. Because before, when you were coming in, it was you had the advantage of 
it already activating all the, the arms. Okay, I'm going to use the, the room cap and I'm going to splash mud on the thing to set the thing off. Okay, so it sets the thing off. And then Mon can like, try to time it and run it. Okay. So we're standing at the base of it. And you two are in the middle with Mon. And so you throw some mud, say, out here. Mm -hmm. And you want him to jump down and get sliced up in the big bar? No! Just fucking try to follow the same path back. Like, try to escape. Very much the same thing we did last time, except use mud to trigger it. Okay, so you throw mud here, it launches out this arm, it waits one turn, and then swings around. Or are you gonna. And then you, then you tell him to go? Well, he's still diagonal on this way. For it to work, right? I don't fucking know. Okay. Right. That's well, what it's up to you. Okay, while the arm is going to swing, while it's swinging, can he just run diagonally out? It's going to hit it. What if he goes after it swings? It's still going to hit it. It's very fast. I'm not afraid of it. Keep in mind, you couldn't throw people onto this thing because you were afraid of destroying it. But throwing people off. Mon says, throw me to the other side! <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I'm not even the ladder yet, so. I can't, I got Mon. I tried to throw him. Just chuck him over the yeah. air. Fuck. Mon's like, Whoa! Wait, how am I gonna get over there now? You gotta wait for the dude who's really fucking strong to throw you across. Yeah. Well, and how's he gonna get across? Not me. That's up to you guys. Well, logically, I haven't been able to use super strength to throw things in the past. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so can we at least... Is the platform separate from the tower, or is the debris going to kill us unless we're clear of this baby trap? And most of this glass is so pure and so refined, it doesn't come off in big sheets. It shatters into tiny little particles. So it feels like glass rain. <laughs> it might do you some damage, it might hurt you a little bit, but it's not like big old chunks of it's it's shit. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Okay, um... However, it's a lot, and if it falls on the fucking giant ice below you, it's, a wa it, its weight will break the ice and send everyone plummeting into freezing water. Except okay. for Mon, because you got, you got Mon out. Yeah, because... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll check. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a lasso ready, right? I'm gonna call Luther and be like, Luther, where are you at? You don't have any time for that. Do I have time to shoot? If I could. Fuck it, we're doing The whole place just shatters. The ice goes. The machines here break right through the ice. And you're standing on top of the machines, so... What? Oh. So you're both falling flat on your asses. And Are we on a machine platform floating on water? Is it sinking now? So it's sinking. It's heavy. It's made of glass. Did all these little areas around here break off too? Like yeah, it's all, it's all... It, these were ice, though, so it's not yeah. like that real pure glass. There's large chunks of ice, but are the machines going to set off now, or is it all broken? Most of the machines are uh, the 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 razor edge around the outside is its own independent machine that's not in the water, but the the pushers are gone. So okay, fuck it. I'm going to jump from ice block to ice block too. That's the only fucking thing likewise, I can think of. Likewise. Well, first you gotta wait. You gotta you, you're both on your asses, so. Next round, you're sinking. You're sinking pretty quick, so you're in the water now. And you're, you're fine. It's fucking cold. It's freezing. I'm gonna use my fucking firearm to heat it up. Okay, you're gonna light your firearm? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Is he boiling the water all around him? It's going to steam. If it touches his firearm, it's instant steam. Yay. Yeah. Anyway, can I get up now and fucking try to jump from my side? Yeah, okay, yeah. roll a dex check. Yeah. Alright, roll a dex check. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. You, you sink into the water and the fucking bitter cold. 
it holds all your muscles. So now you're going to take a half on all your dex checks. Mm. That's bad. Unless okay. someone comes and fucking saves you. If you stay under the water for 10 rounds, you're dead. You okay. run out of air. Okay. Alright, so can I uh, attempt to get out? Did let him roll his deck check okay, to jump to the next block of ice. Okay, am I standing on the block of ice currently? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, he's close. He's okay, one, I'm gonna he's one jump backwards. I'm, well, I'm gonna jump back to him and reach him while I check that. Okay. So, dex check. Get back to it. Pass. Roll a dex check to see if you get out of the water. Tits! Tits and asses! Well, you're shoved. <laughs> the cold is so bitter. Okay. You freeze up. Now all turn the lung, all the air in your lungs is just. I reach in the water and I try to pull them out. Strength check. Skin bad. Strength check. Try it. Oh, I did it. One under my strength. So you, you, right. you reach down. Both arms, the firearm keeping your other arm warm enough, and then you grab him with your regular arm and pull, and it's just enough to get his head out of the water. Breathe, damn it, breathe! <laughs> you gotta roll the dex check, it's still at half to see if you get a fuck out of here. Yeah. You pass, okay. Alright, so I'm up out of the water. Fuck. Yeah, but you're still fucking cold, and all your next checks are still halved. Okay. I run my fire on, like, outside, trying to warm them up with the heat from it. And you're melting the block of ice beneath you. Okay, put them up. Put that out. Um, I'm gonna try here's, to... You know, you could make it to land, and then I could throw your rope, no, you and you pull the ice block. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna... We're gonna get the rope out, we're gonna tie it around you, and I'm going to jump across the rope. Please do. Oh shit, there's the blades. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Sorry. But you're just gonna have to try it. I'm sorry. You can make a move. Okay. This is this is as much as I can help you. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to jump across. Yeah. Uh, so you're on the next block. Let's say one, two, three, four. And then hold each other open And then you yeah, and then you have to jump over the line. So as long as I'm not under the water, I can still tie you up with time. Hey, and don't jump across anymore. <laughs> don't leave me in the water to freeze to death. Don't say yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, that, that's a fail. Yeah, it is. But you, 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 what you did was you hesitated. You, you went, <laughs> and you just waited. And you just, you just sat there trying to warm up a little bit. I have no clue how to get inside of this situation. <laughs> well, um, I can throw you a torch. Yeah, do that. Do that. Throw it to him. I line the torch and throw it to him. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Use it to warm him. You need to warm himself up. Okay. That might work in three or four rounds or so. Okay. I mean, you sit tight. I mean, is yeah. the thing below him melting? Yeah. Oh, never mind. This whole fucking place is going away, and you're you're about to get dumped in fucking freezing water. Okay, um, god damn, did you plan this? I am I intended for you to fall in the water. Yes. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the place comes down. Did you think we'd make it out before the place came down? I wasn't sure. But I did. You I, have a plan B on what would happen if we didn't? I built those boxes. Knowing that he would touch them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw it coming. Like, he's gonna dick you over with these boxes. Uh, I'm sorry. I saw that they were. I like their boxes! Gotta yeah, open their boxes. They're pretty! It's like, no! <laughs> it's like, it's okay, I'll, I'll wait to open the boxes. Oh, wait, the boxes are That's nothing in terrible. <laughs> Okay, so I did think the door would want to loot this place. <laughs> Check us on then. <laughs> There's nothing to loot. Okay, so um, now do I go? Yeah, sure. 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 Wow. Oh, God, <laughs> you 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 go for the run and and you hesitate again. 
Except the block that you're standing on, the ice block, is, is a lot smaller now, and it flips. <laughs> you are now trapped underneath this ice block, freezing the fucking down. Hmm. Not any ideas? Oh! By the way, Vaughn drives the whole fucking card over. <laughs> on the back, he's got a model of your ballistics in the turret. Attached big fucking rope. Nice. He's over the blades He's got he's parked the coal the whole cart right next to it. The blades, they shoot up, yeah, but they're they're only about the curtain side of a person. Your cart's fucking ten wow. feet tall. Yeah. Also like just go right into the cart? What? Or did just smash into the cart? What? The blades. No, he's, he's outside of the range of the blades. Oh. Uh, and he can shoot the rope over uh, the blades. Yeah, Ma, fucking rescue us, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ma says, watch out! Never shot this thing before! Because it's a giant fucking heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I <laughs> if he critical fails, he's, he's going to hit one of you. So fine. <laughs> <laughs> However... You're drowning to death. Nine. Okay, the harpoon stabbed right into the ice, right at your feet. Sweet. I reached down and I tried to pull him out of the water again. You, you, I didn't move forward anymore. Okay, so you, you, you're going to lean down, try and grab him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Fuck. Try and roll your uh, get out. Yeah! <laughs> I can fail. Okay. I'm gonna keep trying to get him, because I mean, I kind of need him a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna need him. This again, try again. Every, every, every strength, every what? <laughs> Fuck you guys! Damn it! Seven. Try again? Yeah. I got him! Oh, oh god! god. He reached yeah. down, but he's got a pretty deep now. I mean, he is really cold. And even your fire alarm is fighting against it. it, it it's not enough. And he doesn't quite come up out of the water. So, but he does have a hole in there. He's got a hole. He's not going any deeper, but you're going to have to patch your next death day. So, see, do I get a turn now to try to. Try and pull yourself up on his arm? Yeah, go ahead, try. He missed again. Pass. So you can get... <laughs> fucking chucked. Up chucking ice. Ice cubes. Live, damn it, live! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you have to roll to check. Get yourself the fuck out of the wire with me here. Come right. on. Why do you? S My God, oh, so many fucking criticals. I still have him. Still got him. Fine. That was a straight check to pull him out. So. Yeah, where were these when we were fighting the ice dude? Right. Okay. Anyway, I, he's got to be out now. Gonna... Three fucking criticals in a row. I can't just let him go. <laughs> One of those was a seventeen. He's so. like, oh, blub, 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 blub. no, don't save me, bastard! Oh, oh, blub, blub. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, right. Am I at least so close to the surface his, of the water? His feet are in the water. You can, your head's still out of the water. You're hanging on to him with all you fucking got. I yelled, Mom, does that thing have a retract uh, feature? Nope, not yet! I'll make sure to put it in as soon as we get ready to go to the next place! <laughs> I fucking hate you! Can Luther get up on top of the cart and pull the rope? Yeah. Maybe. However, if it gets more than a certain degree of angle within this distance, it's going to chop that rope in two. Mm -hmm. Still. That helps. So if you guys can find some way to fucking jump, then they'll yank you over. You're not jumping. Okay, I pull the horns off of his back and I put them on myself and I cradle his ass. 
No, yeah. but then I'll lose my weapons in the water. No, you won't. I'll take the weapons up and I'll put them on. You're gonna have to do that. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna take two whole rounds to take his weapons off. If you well, okay, you just you. I'm gonna have your full weight. I'm gonna have your weapons folded up over your arms. They're gonna be really fucking heavy on you, which is fine. But I'm gonna have you cradled. I'm gonna have a hold of the fucking rope, and I'm gonna be like Luther fucking bull. All right. And then I'm gonna try to jump out or something. I don't know. It's all I can think of, and I'm gonna have to try it because we're boned if we don't. Well, as long as we can get me out of the water. I'm getting you out of the water. This is getting you out of the water. So I do that. So you, you take two whole rounds to take all the twists and this is and more. Yeah. And I and as tie the rope around myself. Put them in the bag and then put the bag on the horns and then put the horns on your back. Yeah. This is arduous. but It's I'm taking you a long fucking time. But I gotta do it. So now... After all that, you pick him up, and you realize that the weight restriction doesn't work if you're not touching the ground. You jump, and it's fucking, well, you can't jump. There's no, you're okay. in the water. That's fine. I'm going to their fucking pull, I guess. I don't know what to do. Uh. <laughs> okay. Mon's going to come up with it quick. I'm not going to go. Soon. Mon takes. We were almost done. Mon jumps down into the turret, in the in the hole. Mm -hmm. You hear a digging. He comes back out with his saw. Jumps over the top of the the cart, down the bottom. Chunk. Big ass post from where you race the horses. In. Just rips the whole fucking thing. Throws it up to Luther. Use it as an arm! So Luther now has this big ass fucking arm. What was normally sticking out the front end, all the horses, mm -hmm. the horses, is now sticking out over the top. And so he ropes the loops the rope around it, pulls hard so that it lifts you straight up above the He's used the lever. Okay. It's like cart, the back of the cart here. And now we're sitting on this giant pole. The blades here. This pole is sticking out over the top of the cart. Luther's got his foot on it. He's leaning out his foot. And he's pulling on a rope. That's, but you both are like, dang. You got the horns on your back. Mm -hmm. Your flat sickle. That's how it's flat. pulling as hard as he can. But he's not shaking his <clears throat> So he has to pass the strength check. He's a big guy. He could probably pull you up. Because neither of you are very big guys. But all that armor, the equipment, the ballisti, fuck. You pass this. Love that too. <laughs> what, you got, what would you have said? <laughs> so you got us out. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys are sitting at the top of the pole. And like he drags you just the the few feet to get you over the top of the blades. So you're now up here. You 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 all pick him as as high as you can and pick your legs up as high as you can. And Mon, who's now disattached the horses from the whole thing. Gets the horses wrapped up against it and has them push it with their heads. Hmm. That's and so the, you're all you've moved out of range. So we're all safe. we're only fucking there. Okay, so we get down and I pull off all of his gear and lay down on the ground and I start working up a fucking fire and shit to get one back to his body. <laughs> Trying to save his fucking life. Push your father's armor just to I mean, get him as long as we can. Nice, we sure. are. I love you. Keep getting dry. I'm pretty sure you can have it done if you go back away. Motherfucker. So, yeah. We do some uh, field med medicine to save his ass. Alright. 
purchased had this crazy dream of it. Last tower. You were there. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> and this will best save my life. <laughs> they turn around. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All the machines and stuff are gone. And as you look back over, the the water has frozen back over. And I like how you're doing that. Where we end up with no tower and no crazy. Oh, it's very Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and it's, it's probably all because we knocked down that one tower accidentally. Really? Fucking hate towers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck towers, dude. That could be a t-shirt. Fuck towers. Yeah. We've made so many t-shirts already. What was that one you said the other day? Oh, I'm like, I traded my... I traded oh, my... Oh, I my con. I traded my con for my, for my for charisma. charisma. I want a t-shirt that's like, Mom says let's go! <laughs> Picture of a I don't know. I want to. I want a shirt that says "Jokes on you." That's, that wasn't a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the best one. Oh, so wow. I think we're good. Diamond Tower. Done. Wow, that was a long delay. I just looked over at the camera, and my face on there didn't turn to like three seconds. <laughs> so, what are these? Are these diamond glasses? Nope. So does his arm change? Yeah, yeah. on the arm. Does it? What does it like? Have like diamond, diamond sparkles on it? Just mm -hmm. one big dip right in the back. You move the division. I'm fancy. You fancy bitch. Oh my god! It's Thirty-two swim out of the water. Sinks <laughs> 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 to the bottom. <laughs> Thirty-two gets up out of the water. The big blade comes over. Funk. <laughs> oh god. Thirty-two. Is, is laying next to this blade thing. A big scratch down one side. Oh, oh, I run over and pick him up. I'm like, oh my god, 32, oh, okay? Baby. I love you. Oh, my god, Nice to meet you, Harvey. Amy can't load a bowl. What are you, how are you smoking then? Brit. <coughs> What's that? Uh, you got a slogan. slogan. You want to stop the uh, what slogan? Through the stars, through difficulty, or whatever. Mm. That's what this is all about. Anyways, so much fun. We enjoyed ourselves. <laughs> Holy this, crap. This has been the standard. Oh. And, um. <laughs> we are setting the bar. Son of a bitch. We live. Almost yeah. died. Yeah. Almost. We always almost died. Frozen to death. What? What's the close?